Summer, I don't, I'm still, I'm not, I don't love yours, but I'm somewhere in the vicinity of liking it. So if you, before we actually get to processing it, if you have, uh, th there's moves to go with each of those uh, choices. I, I kind of have, this is a weird uh, one where in most people's cases, the choices actually are additional moves to go into. So if that's helpful at all, there's stuff for that. You and, uh, to Mike's point, uh, you and Alicia have sort of parallel choices in terms of the moves that are available to you. To Mike's well, point, I think that five has booked our next three sessions, so it almost doesn't matter. That what has? <laughs> Mike rolled a five on his thing. Oh, dear. Are you kidding me? Really? <sighs> Man, I wanted that middle one. Man, hang on. I got I just realized I don't have roll 20 open. I'm the worst at this game. You rolled a five? I rolled a five. Okay. That's, for for what this move is, it ain't horrible. Really? Well, it's not horrible yeah. for you. Sure. Maybe horrible for other people. All right. So just to, uh, we're, we're going to get people caught up a little bit on what all is going on, what has been going on the last 24 hours or so since the fallout from the, the, the oh, grave repercussions. No, nobody. Uh, grave repercussions. That works. Sure. See, we already have a, uh, already, already have an episode title. We already have a title. Um, so Adams was, and he really, he really, uh, well, he got it started off well with the five, uh, his love letter re he heeds, and we will let you, I guess there's no choices to make in this case. Well, there is. And well, I'm going to ask you to wait until you get back before we, uh, uh, <laughs> before we f figure out what this is. So Adam. As, let's face it, the most well-known and consistently well-liked member of the Menagerie, who wasn't also wasn't on any of the destruction footage caught on camera, the last 24 hours haven't been too bad. All the press has just been a good excuse to spend some time with your family. Roll danger. On a 10, pick all three. On the 7 and 9, pick one. He didn't get any. He rolled a 5. On a 6 minus, pick a teammate who's already forgetting the problem with Adam. Name them. They then choose. Either continue to remember you used to be someone and something else and take a condition, or they can let go of that annoying fact and, and take potential. Did I say take potential? I said make potential. It should have been take. Everything is going just swell. Editorial. So there you go. Adam started us off with a five. Yeah. Is... So you want, me to, you want me to hold on to that one? Just, just hold on to that. Think it over in the car. Mm -hmm. When you come back. We'll find out, unless you want somebody to have amnesia throughout the, uh, or not amnesia, it's not really the right word, but to be continue, continue to be futzed with by your cosmic futz. Well, I mean, the obvious choice. Would be Alicia? Would be Charlotte. But, but, but Alicia, she's the one who figured it out. She needs to be punished. I suppose you're probably right. You figure it out. Okay. You figure it out because everything is swell with Adam does could be a particularly Charlotte way of going th with things, but she's also got stuff coming up here pretty quick. Um, 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 um how did 24 hours go? Uh, Sh Charlotte and Alicia flip a coin, flip a manhole cover I, I i'm being i'm being gestured to because uh margie's doing some of this all right oh, okay nope no yes nope, she's all right we're doing charlotte dear charlotte you've made great progress against the well, let me get the thing open here because i actually have the thing open here dear we're at charlotte you've made great progress against the world wounds but the cost has been high to you to the I, I, i'm 
I'm sorry. Hang on. No. Margie is in the middle of something. So all right, we're doing char we're doing do we're doing Alicia. Yes. <laughs> hey there, hero. You like that? Yeah. It's only one grainy bit of video footage, but it's gotten a lot of play. You in Mercury's face in the midst of the worst of the destruction, screaming something at him. Your lips are easy enough to read that all the mainstream news outlets pixelate your mouth at key points. Given the flack Mercury and the team are taking, opinion of this footage is mixed. Some see you as the Yoko Ono in this thus far beloved team, screwing up the symmetry and ultimately causing all the problems. Others are painting you as the lone voice of frustrated reason. Many just want to know who the hell you are. You've got options. Make a statement to the cameras or refuse to speak to the press. Editorial has the moves ready. You don't have to roll anything, isn't that swell? Aren't I just the kindest, gentlest oh boy. dictator ever? Um, Would you like to see yeah, my moves? Actually, no, no, that's, that's fine. I, uh, I'll... I'll uh... I'll, I'll take your word for it. Um, yeah, I wanted to actually, uh, I had to actually try to get over to Charlotte at some point during this process as everything's coming wailing up. But if, um, well, there's no reason you can't have scenes with Charlotte. This is just the yeah, last 24 yeah, hours, and did anything? Oh, this is over the last 24 hours. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This isn't. This okay. is like just like the last. This isn't like at you know the, the press crowding in around the. Uh, the it cemetery. hasn't. It hasn't right. even been 24 hours, honestly, because okay. it's been like it. since school let out around to like the middle of the next day, sort of. Um, okay. Or maybe right after school let out the next day. So maybe it has been 24 hours, but it certainly hasn't been much more than. And there's nothing to say other stuff hasn't also happened. I'm just curious about this public-facing portion of your deal. Have you been avoiding all cameras, which is relatively easy considering nobody knows who you are, or making a public statement about, like, setting the record, I guess, whatever you decide to do. And I'm going to just... I, I'm, do you want to see I, 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 what this entails? No. Okay. No. Right. I, I think... I think I am going to refuse to speak to the press because I think that's there's so there's so much else going on here to unpack that that the 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 the, the, the sens sensationalist press um, flitting about and and wanting statements and trying to figure out whether whether I'm the good guy on the team or the bad guy on the team or or why I'm yelling at poor Harry or whatever the hell. Um, I, I'm just like so not into that right at the moment. I am I am right there with you. I find that to be entirely in keeping. When you refuse to speak to the media about a recent caught on camera incident, roll plus mundane. On a ten plus, they paint you as a regular person, favorable, clear condition, or mark potential when you read these reports and expect a request for an interview. Isn't that nice? On seven nine, you're largely ignored. Shift mundane up and danger down. On a miss, the media paints you as a dangerous mystery. Shift danger up and mundane down and mark a condition of the GM's choice. I'm a, of a marvel, I'm not actually angry at the moment, um, but I might be soon. Um, <laughs> Although you're just rolling mundane, I don't know that it's a yeah. move necessarily, so you can just... Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Yeah, I, it shouldn't... Well angry yeah i guess it would be it sort of affects the code but you know ignore that such as it is charade rolls mundane eight four plus it's a perfect zero four plus four plus nothing on seven nine your yard largely ignored shift mundane up and danger down so the general gist although nobody's super emotional about it is that you're some kind of regular person trying to do the best in a bad situation and maybe not making it better, but maybe not making it any worse either. But other than that, okay. largely, largely a mystery. Okay. Well, so I can do that. That's the outside. Uh, and um, uh, uh, you can take a, a, a tick of respect with um, Parker. Oh, well, there you go. She likes it when you don't shoot your mouth off in public. Well, that was that. I have to say that was actually one of my considerations. <laughs> that uh, uh, really, but yeah, yeah, actually, um, there's a potential there for that to also end up being one of uh, 
Alicia Chen, Seeing Through the Charade, now on sale on Amazon by Summer Newman. I love it. Yeah. Terrible. All right. All right. Are we... Who's up? Charlotte? Back. Okay. Where's Charlotte? Dear Charlotte, you've made great progress against the world wounds, but the cost has been high. To you, the team, to the spirits in the areas surrounding each wound. Also, you're kind of homeless now? Question mark. What are your most pressing issues right now? Roll superior. On the 10 plus, two. On the seven and nine, one. Somehow I didn't write in a six, so I might have to just figure that one out. We'll figure that one out a little bit. We'll see if it matters. If it, if it helps, actually, the, the homelessness thing was one of the things I wanted to talk with Charlotte about. Yes, yes. And there's a long-term solution and there's a short-term solution. The list has a short-term solution option in it, which is pretty much if uh charlotte is stretching her superhero legs um all right so 79 you pick one the options are the spirit realm does not demand atonement for your actions there's a move to go along with this um the people of Helsian city are not angry frightened and confused and again sort of demanding them in. so it's basically the living and the dead going damn it we have a problem or you're crashing in the twilight grove for a few days and or at least that's what you think it could be one night before Alicia goes and finds you, because um, she's got a she's got stuff going in there. Or you could just say, I don't want to do that because I want Alicia to come in and talk to me. Uh, you're crashing in the Twilight Grove for a few days and took the opportunity to get some much needed answers. And there's a uh, the all of these options open up an additional move. Um, so it's avoid bad stuff or pick a good thing. Um, all of all of which have a move to go along with them that can also mitigate stuff or or cause stuff. One of which I think you may have used in the past because the Twilight Grove thing sort of opens up a, uh, this is the benefit of going on runs and listening to old podcasts. I realized that Charlotte has been carrying around a plus one forward to do some research on the Hidden Family for approximately 24 sessions that. and hasn't used it yet. So I thought, how about give her the opportunity to do some research with the plus one forward. And I can't remember on Harry's, I need to find the write-up that Harry did. I can't remember if that option for having like a research library, if that actually gives you a bonus or if it just gives you the opportunity. Um, those of you with, or somebody with more experience in the doomed, <laughs> Dave, uh, sanctuary thing might know one way or the other, whether that actually gives you a bonus or anything. I'm not sure. I don't think it does. I'm I'm sorry. What what was the question? Was... Um, so the the Twilight Grove theoretically, if you, I, I don't think just the fact that it sort of allows research actually gives you a bonus to the roll. I don't um, think it does. It's like well, it's, it. I it's where's the sanctuary move? When you call upon the resources of your sanctuary to solve a problem, say what you want to do. No, that's a different the thing. will give you one. Okay. It's just you the want to work you must fulfill. I mean, the, you've got it has features. Right, it, and it has downsides, and, and it doesn't actually and the features, provide the features a, a don't mechanic do like a, around it. Yeah, the features don't do like a mechanical thing. That's what I was thinking. Right. So, so in it's any more, case, but it's, it, a, it's a game, it's a game resource. Yeah. For... It's a, it's a, it opens the door. Um, in any case, the Twilight Grove allows you to do research, and uh, Charlotte herself has a plus one forward, plus you know whatever for that. Um, the Spirit Realm thing to flip back, and actually, it's the same move for the. Uh, Thing. If you decide not to avoid one of those things, that looks like this move. It's really just a matter of who it applies to. It's coming up here. Oh, lovely. Um, So it's really uh, see where it all goes. And again, it's that constant seesaw between the living and the dead for for Charlotte. Well, uh, since my savior is... Uh... 
couldn't remember if it was good or bad. I have to write this blind. These write these things blind these days. So. And the superiors. Low. Um. Superiors low. Where's I, where's savior at? You broke up. I, I guess too. I could, I could so my savior is good. Yeah. Um. I I actually had been thinking about the growth because I've been talking with uh, Alicia the other day about how we really haven't been hanging out as a team. And, yeah. You know, since we left Jason's, you know, we've all been off doing our own thing and we haven't really been. So, I mean, in hindsight, the benefit of the that third option is just that it gives you the opportunity to just get it done, just snap your fingers and have it happen. But there's no real reason if you guys aren't hanging out there, that you can go, hey, I'm going to wander off and talk to the statues for a little bit and kind of get the research option open. So just because you don't pick it doesn't mean you can't get to it. I mean, you could even get to it this session, honestly. Um, we're a relatively lower population, so uh, there's no reason that, could, that couldn't happen anyway. Um, so that's uh, that, that's not off the table even if you don't pick that one. So it's kind of, if you want to uh, turn it over here, I can, I can uh, get Summer's thing out here in the table and get everybody kind of turning and mentally turning things over if you want to figure it out. Um I was going to choose the first one because, of course, the ghosts. So the ghosts do not demand atonement, but the city is angry. Is that is that sort out right? Well, assuming I make the roll. No, no, no. Uh, or did you already? I thought you already rolled. You did already roll. So oh, the first one. Yeah, you roll superior. Yep, you roll superior. I can so pick. Let me jump back to the move. Um, so you, if you pick the first one. The spirit realm does not demand atonement for your actions. So you're good. Ghosts are fine. Ish. They're not sitting there. They're not walking around with spectral pitchforks and torches. Since that's the one you pick, then the other one is sort of not negated. Because the way again, this is one of those this is one of those ones that's written to like be this is not happening. I picked the thing to make it not happen. Three bad things will happen. Your role gets to scratch off one or more, basically. Yeah. So uh, Spirit Realm does not demand atonement for your actions, so they're not bugging you, but the people of Halcyon are angry and frightened and confused. That is that what you, is that how that shakes out, or did I get it backwards? It's fine. Okay. So it's it, uh, functionally, it's the same kind of role. It's just a matter of who's caring about it one way or the other so let's flip back over to the well i guess it's just me so again this is now we're into the savior role which is the atoning for your mistakes thing publicly atoning which is that's the generic wording for the thing it's more about what charlotte can do it's a lot of because the team has still been kind of disparate so what we're looking at here is the miss is okay. what we're looking at all right um the the thing that some of the and this is happening with a couple of the people is it's a lot in the first uh 24 hours of the individual people kind of dealing with this on their own rather than uh you know the team dealing with it but that doesn't mean that we can't uh um see some help on this out of the so so after the after the cemetery is mercuried um is there an immediate offer to uh put Charlotte up does that immediately because uh, I know Alicia had been kind of talking about this so let's loop back to Dave here for a little bit um well yeah I mean I, I my intent was you know to um when I've got a chance to to talk with Charlotte to just kind of say hey um I, I looking around at, at the devastation the fact that there is no is no family too many more um you know I I have a sensitivity to being homeless um yeah. on a number of levels so um if there's anything i can do if you need to um if you know if you need a place to crash i i need to talk to to 
I rent one. Th- and, I rent. And, and... I rent one third interest in a couch that you can park. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sub. I'm subletting. Um, but I, I would certainly try to find a way to to make sure you've got a place to stay and and you know and stuff like that at least for tonight. Um, what? How does that? How does that strike you, Charlotte? Looking around, I, I mean, granted, this is a bit of a you know, like you're standing in your own in a in a, in a bomb crater. Um, where your house used to be, kind of, um, is that unlooked for kindness in the midst of destruction, or is that just one more damn thing that you got to deal with, or what? What? Uh... Well, actually, I don't need a place to stay. I don't need to sleep, so I'm going to use this time to get some stuff done. Okay. Um... All right. Well, if I can, if I can be of help, let me know. People don't want to be me right now, so I don't want to be around people. Okay. Uh... This rule, Dave. Yeah, no, I understand, but that's that's the public. Alicia would be contrary just to be contrary. Yeah, I. And I, I, I get that. I'm trying to op, I'm trying to open up the opportunity to show us with somebody while all this stuff is happening and all the news stuff is happening and all the people are shouting and being incensed. If Charlotte's around somebody, then somebody can help with the role. But well, that's true. I mean, if if this was over the first 24 hours mm-hmm. there, then if 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 Charlotte's around, you know, if Charlotte is around someone, then, hey, there could be some team to change that six to yeah, seven. Yeah, that was my, that, sorry, I should have made that more clear. That was what I was, that, that was where I was aiming with that was, um, it. I, I don't know what can be done with regards to that until I sort of know the context. So I didn't know if Charlotte's gotcha. with folks or not. If, the, if she is, I mean... If she's in an apartment, with, if she's in an apartment with Summer and and Alicia, then team will be spent. Um, I, that that's just how that that's just how that shit's gonna go down. And pillow yeah, fights, lots of pillow fights. Oh God, please no, 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 no. Um, rephrase that then. I was thinking of just going to the Grove. Do, yeah, don't make a noise in the house. Leslie will kill all of us, including the ghost. I I just. <laughs> I just realized, I mean, you guys are talking about pillow fights and I didn't, I had this picture of Charlotte like wearing one, like the Halloween ghost, like an actual pillow. And like, her, it's like, I'm not understanding how this works. Am I like, anyway, it's funny. All right. So but um, she mentioned, she mentions the Grove, like retreating to the Grove. What is that? How does that strike? Do you think that's, well, I don't know that that's wise, but, um, if that's where you'd rather, if that's where you'd rather hang, or if that's okay for you, I'm, I'm fine with that. Just, I, I just feel like you know, the time we spent at Jason's, thought I'd go to the base. Well. To hang. Well, we could certainly, I, we probably need to do that sooner or later. Um especially if we've got a big public, you know, publicity problem going on here brewing, which I suspect we will. So, yeah. So Alicia, Charlotte's clearly pretty shook. Do you, are you now, and you clearly have some reservations about the Twilight Grove, but so balance this. I mean, where, where do you land here? It's like, okay, well, good luck with that. Or do you, do you go with, do you, well, I'll, Not I, so I'll suddenly invite yourself along just to, for the sake of doing it. Sure. I mean, I'll, I'll um, yeah, I, I actually probably would. Or, well, so subtly. well, it helps you avoid the media. I mean, there is the, the, Isn't that what you just did. The Twilight Grove, to the best of your knowledge, is not wired for cable. Um, there may be some extra dimensional Wi-Fi capability that 
but as far as you know, you haven't run into. Yeah, while we're there, we're not going to know about the media. They won't be able to reach us, but we won't know what's going on. Right, right. So you're not likely. A lot of this, in some cases, is going to be. I mean, lying low, and we already know Alicia's lying low. So that's not hard when you're technically in a pocket dimension that's not on the that's not on the grid. Um. Well, I think we're, we're going to need to make kind of regular. <laughs> regular soundings of what's going on sure. outside, but I'd be happy to at least. And yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't mean it doesn't make much sense if the base is completely cut off, but it's certainly a lot easier to uh, unplug in that kind of situation. I have to, we need, I need to loop back to Harry and, or just look, loop back to the description. I of think the that you're that. making assumptions, Alicia. I was just talking about going there and hanging. For yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, moving in. Okay. Um, well, um fine if if you just want to go there and hang um you know when you get a chance uh swing you know swing by my place um what uh, i won't i won't be answering cell phone numbers that i don't recognize what um let me just look at something here real quick for a little bit what are you going on about well, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm, I'm not clear whether Charlotte wants Alicia along. Or oh, not. so okay, boom. Right. So, there. Let's just stop, Alicia. That sure. implies people. I said I was missing hanging with Jason. True. And no, uh, it seems to me like the like what uh, Alicia's scrambling for in this situation is Pierce the mask. I don't know what Charlotte wants me to do in this situation. Now, Margie can say, uh, I'm saying specifically, yeah, but meow, straight past Alicia's head. Um, look, Alicia's missing a social nuance. Everyone be shocked for a second. Alicia hears, hears the word Jason and her brain goes sideways. <laughs> Jason. Oh, no. so, another, like... another rival for Jason. What am I going to do? <laughs> Well, I'm going to go to Jason. I'm going to go to my apartment now, I guess. I'm just uh yeah. Um Okay. There's a shot in Princess Mononoke towards the end where uh the 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 prince dude like says, you know, back off and they don't back off and he shoots one of the samurai and his head pops off and the other guy just he doesn't even do anything. He doesn't shout. He just wheels his horse and goes back the other way. I call that the nope attack because it's like nope, I'm out. <laughs> And that's kind of like, it's like, yeah, well, do you need me to come along? It's like, I just was, I'm, I miss hanging out with Jason. Nope, I'm out. I'm, I just wheeled and head the other direction because my emotional head just popped off. Um, but Alicia, if you're just sitting here kind of floundering going, I just don't know what the heck is in I, her head. I, I, I can go ahead and do a pierce, pierce, pierce the mask. I guess, that's what okay, it's fine. for. That's what it's for. To see the person beneath the, the, um, the, the turmoil. Oh, wait. And it's a and mundane role, so you should be really, really and good. I actually have, and I actually have influence over Charlotte, so... You can take a plus one. I can take a plus one. It says, oh, it makes a difference to your dice. God, it almost... It almost... It almost wasn't terrible. It's, it's actually just fine. When you pierce the mask... <laughs> um, when you pierce the mask and see someone's beneath, roll mundane on 10 plus S3, on 7, 9, ask one. You get to ask one. Um, I am going to ask. And there's one that's right there. It's... Well, yeah, there you go. So when, cause I was um, literally what... reading it when, like I was reading the second bullet list bullet point when you said, I don't know what she wants me to do. And I'm like, what... Hey, look. So what do you want me to do, Charlotte? In your heart of hearts, beneath the mask, yeah. beneath the turmoil. <laughs> Printed on the front of the mask that I'm trying to pierce. I can't see it. I'm not looking closely enough. And I might have to, I mean, I, I, this is, this is maybe a, it's a meta question to a certain extent because it isn't necessarily how Charlotte would respond, but, um, God mode, Charlotte author. What is, what does Charlotte want her to do? Truly. Charlotte wants her to come and hang with her in the Grove. Sure. Let's go hang in the Grove. <laughs> As, as Alicia, as Alicia and possibly Dave throws up their hands and I don't get it, but I'm just going to play along. 
Fine. No, no, I, I, I get it. I, 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 I get it. Uh, yeah, so. you do. You, you, you. That, that, that signal does come through, loud and clear. Um, so, and it, I mean, in the time, the Grove is kind of a, it's in a weird kind of part of downtown, which is, uh, uh, it's, it's a small. If I, if I remember Harry's description of it, it's like a small park, kind of off the beaten path a bit, but still sort of downtown. There's a statue kind of thing. And he's let you guys know um, what the thing is. You're supposed to whisper to the statue to sort of, I say open up the portal, but if you remember that it's really more about like the park expanding around you to be the Twilight Grove. So it isn't like you step through right. anything. It's just you sort of shift into this space. Um, but in the time it takes, I mean, it's already, I mean, it's already clear as you guys are sort of leaving, even at, you know, you know, Charlotte can just sort of get there. Um, it's going to be a hot mess. I mean, there are ambulances and police and, and all this other kind of stuff. Um, and news well, copters I... and people yelling and the very, it's, it's, I mean, but they have it handled. It's not like there's fires or anything, but it's clear. It's I, I'm prefacing this to, to get to the point. Cause I'm, we're still trying to work back around to Charlotte's love letter move. So help me, let me, let me get there for a second. Uh, and, and we'll see where we are there. Um, so more as much as anything else, it, I mean, I, you've had to pierce the mask and, you know, what Charlotte's looking for. Clearly some of this at least is some of this is, is, is bothering Charlotte. It's, it's still clearly bothered even in the quietude and, you know, comfort of the of the of the twilight grove um dave what do you like or dave uh alicia what do you do or not do uh <laughs> part of me wants to go how awkward is your conver your, your 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 repeated attempts at conversation no um but like, you know, what do you do once you get there? Uh, or Charlotte, okay. what, what are you doing when you get there? Are you just sort of, do you wander the trees or look over the food or mosey through the creepy statues? Plop down in an easy chair and say, plop down in an let's easy hang. chair. Let's hang. Basically what I was thinking of is, you know, throwing a bag of chips at uh, Alicia or her <laughs> bowl and... You know, deeply channeling Harry. Sitting on the well, it is Harry's kind of place, so you know. Did do chips actually appear when Harry's not there? Yeah, the um the place okay. the place always has food. Um, it. Yeah, yeah but I was wondering. If, I was wondering if the actual food selection varied depending on who actually shows up. You know, so that I think so. <laughs> I think so to a certain extent. So. I think both of you but, guys are sort of in a mode of needing a bit of comfort food. So I will ask Charlotte first, but then I also want to ask Alicia, what specific item of comfort food is present? Snacky sort of comfort, like it's, you know, baked Alaska is great, but it's not a snacky food. You know what I mean? So what sort of pick at it kind of comfort food is there because you're there? I'll start with Charlotte. Um, a, um, chicken, but maybe like nuggets and sweet tea. Oh, lovely. Of course. What was I thinking? Uh, how about you, Alicia? What's, what's your. Shishita peppers. Food. Oh, Jesus, I knew it was going to be peppers or, or. Shishita peppers. Chicken with that truth tea. Okay. And well, I guess to drink. Um, hmm. Turkish coffee. What is that? I mean, I, obviously it has the word coffee on it, so I know that much. But like, how it's is like it? It's like espresso. It's like super, it's, it's super kind of dense. Sort of, it, it's like super dark, super dense, served in little teeny tiny cups and highly sweetened. Turkish coffee is a, a dark roasted coffee that's ground found 
and is slowly dripped into the the small cup that it's served out of. Oh, interesting. So if you've ever had um, Vietnamese coffee, no, it's it's it the sounds... same sort of base. But anyways, it's like a little container, and the the coffee just slowly drips through and... the through into the cup, and then you put um usually a lot of um in it. <laughs> It's it's kind of like coffee concentrate. Yep. Nice. Uh, if, if it's Vietnamese coffee, it's it's uh, sweetened condensed milk instead of sugar. Ooh. Wow. That sounds actually pretty awesome. Um, A shot glass will do you for the day. By the way, don't. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> Alicia might be. Uh... <laughs> If we had Alicia's here, used, <laughs> Alicia's not Alicia's stupid. Alicia's used to caffeinated drinks Alicia's during pulling all nighters. Yeah, wow. Is there any in the in the initial uh uh rush here, do you say anything or is it just you providing the comfort of your presence? Um probably Or, or do you the, wait for Charlotte to kind of bring up what Yeah, I'm I'm pr I'm probably gonna be more quiet than not. Um, I think you can differentiate Alicia somewhat in this instance by not talking. It, differ, in, it's in the sense of, I mean, she mentioned Jason, and you know, in my head, it's like, okay, how can I be here for her, but at the same time, definitely not be Jason? Oh, that's easy. I just won't talk. <laughs> I won't, if I don't talk, I won't say anything stupid. I, I will be so non Jason. <laughs> Or socially inappropriate. Uh, or socially inappropriate, or making making you know grave jokes and, so and stuff like that. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the team helping thing there, um, because I'm gonna I want to loop back to it because really we're in a sh fairly short period of time immediately after the thing, and this is gonna happen over the course of the next twelve hours or so. So, however we get to the point where she can help, I'm just saying the option for her to help with that role. And get it back up to the thing. Um, uh, the 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 point of it is, if you can get up to a if you get up to a seven, um, the message is clear about like, well, the, here's this thing that would make the city calm the city down. And at the six, it's the city's mad, and they're not actually looking for the solution. Their solution is to be mad, and that's less satisfying obviously in some ways um unless you want to transform unless you want to transfer into the transformed playbook in which case you know being the hated monster just feeds right in there um but i don't know that's really where things are going so, so i mean alicia would definitely be happy to give what advice she can from a from a propagandistic standpoint um but as as to how to pro as to how to create an appropriate spin on whatever statement right. um charlotte makes well, and, which we can really which i'm sure we can release through some sort of channels and unlike unlike uh i want to point this out too unlike some of the options that alicia had which is like i'm going to talk to the press i'm not going to talk to the press and some of the stuff that actually show up in sort of summer's move and actually harry's uh it's a lot about talk 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 to these people, talk to this people, make this statement, don't make this statement, snap back at this guy, blah, blah, blah. Charlotte's thing is all about what do I do. It's not even about, like, some public statement. It's uh, what do I do? What can I do? What what are they looking for? What do they, you know, what do they want and what are they actually going to get? So it's not even about necessarily that kind of stuff. Um, Outdoors, but I'm also the only one is not on footage trashing the place. That's true. Really true. <laughs> true. Or, or standing by while it's getting trashed at the appearance. Yeah, whereas everybody else is like, I feel like I need to make a public statement. Um, so you, I, I will note that I did not trash anything either. I just yelled at a person who was doing it. And it to a certain extent, this isn't so much Charlotte. <laughs> to a certain extent, this it, with it, the spirits would be a different thing. The spirits know. If, if it had been the spirits, it would have been like, well, clearly it's the general. Um, in this case, it's more like it's it's almost like, well, they're, they're angry at the team. And Charlotte can has the option to look at this and go, 
this can address that. So it isn't even about Charlotte as much as her looking at the thing and saying this is what we can do. And I feel like, take a glance at this, I feel like there's a potential here with you guys sitting and, and being around each other and, and this and right now just sort of like hanging in silence. But I feel like there's maybe a way you can sort of come at one of the outsider moves sideways. It's one of the one of the victory slash um, vulnerability things. One of the moves I think is something like talk to somebody about how I can fit in more in a particular way. That's actually one of mine. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, so maybe Alicia talking to you about like all the crap going on in the city and how mad everybody is and what can be done and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just trying to, you know, her going kind of, I, there may be an option, a, 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 an opening in there for Charlotte to kind of go, well, like, how can I, how, you know, that maybe there's a way to angle that one, one of the, one, your move to, to be part of that conversation of, of, I mean, it's basically a share of vulnerability. They tell you what to do to fit in better in some... and you take a point of potential if you do it. Right. And the last uh, time, this is because Dave was talking about, the last time I feel like this came up was you had reached out to Leo and or Aria, I think, kind of like, yeah. explain to me politics and why we shouldn't just ignore the Senate and all of the stupid people in the Congress. Um was sort of the last time that move came up. So maybe maybe there's a, you know, advice column aspect. I, not advice column, but you know, like it, since Alicia's here going, you know, let's talk about this. Let's figure out what our plan is. Let's make a game plan. Let's talk team. Let's figure out what we're going to do. Maybe that ties into that thing a little bit. I don't know. I'm just... I was actually already sort of thinking that direction. Yeah, so I'm just yeah, brainstorming. Um, there's, there, there's, something, there, there's something actually really fascinating in Alicia being able to provide advice about this on kind of a a strategic level versus on a personal level being completely you know completely out at sea as to how to fit in um, right but in terms of how to like you know kind of incur you know speak you know influence the public yeah i don't get people but i get crowds <laughs> or something like that you know um Individual people, complicated. Um, all right, so we have, I have, I need to get, to, I need to get to Bill. So while you guys are sort of first just having that uh, stunned Avengers sitting at the shawarma place at the end of thing, having the chicken and the sweet tea and the incredibly strong coffee and the peppers, you say roasted peppers? Shishido Shido peppers. peppers. Thanks. You, you sa saute them a little bit. Um, they're they're mostly mostly flavorable, but one every ten is like a killer. Their their nickname is Russian roulette peppers. I was going to say the Russian roulette of food. Um, yep. Nice. Basically, what they are. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't know why that would appeal to Alicia, but I, yeah. Um, can't imagine. All right. Dear, so, so I'm gonna, while you guys are sort of doing that, we're gonna, we're gonna, so, and Summer, you may certainly have seen this, and if you are, end up texting back and forth to Alicia, we've already established the texts go back and forth, so if you end up, like, going, is everything going okay over there, any of that kind of stuff, texts go back and forth. Uh, dear Summer, <laughs> the news copters captured the footage, and it's been looping on what seems like every channel for the last 24 hours. A flying figure, wreathed in light, Streams of butterflies wheeled in the face of an eldritch horror, a beacon of safety floating over chaos and destruction below. Some people say it's an angelic new hero. Some people say it's some kind of twee post-ironic commentary. Twitter trolls, and troll himself, have dubbed the unnamed hero Fail or Moon, doing nothing or doing nothing or hovering there and looking pretty while the menagerie trashed a neighborhood. Roll savior and see how you deal with all the slings and arrows coming your way. I heard a beep. Did somebody roll dice? No, that was charade. What was charade rolling? Was not was oh, that was the, that was oh. the thing. Yeah, Charlotte relevant. Charlotte relevant. Oh dear. I want to see what he linked. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> that's cool. 
and then Dave. It, it's it looks it's like it looks like a variant of uh, of uh, danger. Yeah, or something. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Or secret, secret. Secret. It is secret. It is secret. It's secret. Or, nice. Or, okay. Nice. Um, okay, so I see an eight. I see an eight. So on a ten plus pick two, on a seven nine pick one, keep a low profile and hope your actions speak for you. Speak for you. Publicly apologize on behalf of the team for what happened, either intentionally or it just comes out through like ambush journalism. Or have some kind of official release about who you are and snap back at the trolls who say you shouldn't be there. On a six minus, you in desperation, reach out to Jason, Link, or Arya for advice about what to do because there's just too much. How did they ever manage to do this? And you know it's a six minus because she thinks Jason can provide useful advice. No. Um, but I that got hit on the head one too many times. That didn't, that didn't come to pass. So uh, where are we going with that? What are we? What are we? What's your move there? How are uh, we so for. Right now, she's still uncertain about like how she presents. She's curious how the public will see her. So she's keeping a low profile, and she's going to see what happens. Okay. This ends up, and I apologize a little bit for this, because uh, I didn't know if it would really come out too much. But uh, this goes to the same move that Dave ended up going with, because you guys are both um, interesting parallels there. So uh, that is... I'll get that one back up again. Again, the, the tone of it, the wording of it is a little bit thing. So it refused to speak to the media about a recent caught on camera incident, roll mundane. And we'll see how this goes. This is a nine. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, on a 10 plus, they paint you as a regular person, favorably clear condition. On a seven, nine, you're largely ignored, shift your mundane up and your danger down. Excuse me. Okay. So well, nothing, those nothing, nothing too terrible. The, you know, you're not responding to the trolls. Some people are leaping to your defense. Some of the predictable people, some of the less, some of the less predictable people. Um, some folks are just, you know, clearly she was doing something there. We can't understand what was all going on. You know, butterflies go down the thing's throat and pretty soon the thing goes down. Who's to say she didn't do everything? Um, and that, you know, surprising no one, the internet can sort of have a fight about you without you, uh, <laughs> pretty easily. And, you know, letting that play out doesn't end up being, it's, it, you know, it's kind of a wash. Um, ties go to the hero though, in this case, so you can kind of, um, they pretty much decide, you know, for whatever you didn't, you didn't seem to make anything worse. So... Good on you. Um, and that's where thing goes. That's that's kind of how it plays out in this thing. So dialing this back down then to a little bit tighter focus on the immediate time following the actual showdown. Um, Harry gets out of there pretty quick. Uh Adam doesn't seem in any big hurry, but he also doesn't seem he's he's spending a little bit more attention on uh, Pietro and everything. And as things get kind of uh, um, more and more fraught, more and more attention, that kind of thing. Um, uh, uh, first, you, you do see, you know, Charlotte's looking not great uh, about all of that. And, you know, so lots of reasons why you can't necessarily guess at what all those might be, but she's sort of um, tries, you know, goes to get out of there. It looks like Alicia's doing her best to to support that, looking a little bit at sea, but still kind of doing that. Um, I don't know if she throws you any glances or anything like that, like I'll be home late or anything of that nature, but uh, I don't know, at least if you give any high signs to really anybody else around at, in the in the team. Uh, the Plasma Prince kind of gets out of there. Weirdly, he pulls a fade pretty quick for somebody who's like been dying for some publicity and kind of people to see him as a hero. He's he's He doesn't seem like he's that into that right now. Um, 
not not because it's like oh this is going to be bad publicity although you could certainly read it that way if you wanted to uh he just doesn't seem like he's that so in the short term like what do you what do you do summer or or you know do you just try to get out of there and and is is this do you lay low in the sense of you know let's let's pull a fade and figure out what's going on and and like let the team get back together and compare notes or do you do you get out of the do you lay low in the sense of i'm going to just go do hero stuff and not worry about whether or not some reporter needs to have you know wants me to talk to him what does, um, what does lang lu look like for you so i think that she's she's kind of holding back to see what um what the public thinks in the sense of she's not going to make an appearance on camera and if somebody comes to try to, to try to talk to her like she'll not blow them off but just politely say I, i'm sorry i'm busy um you know we'll talk another time um i think following what we said last time she's still very concerned about how charlotte's doing so okay. she's gonna okay. see if charlotte is around or try to try to keep track of her okay. but if okay. but if alicia is off doing that then she will see if alicia wants company and if alicia says no i got this or no don't come in. She'll respect that. See, and that's uh, so. I'm curious. I mean, if you shoot that text over, so let's 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 dig into that a little bit. Alicia, are you are you are you looking for backup? Are you know is that because this speaks a little bit to also how your relationship with uh, with Summer is at the moment as well. So, um, how Charlotte doing? Need any backup? All that kind of stuff. That's the text. Um, sure. I think Charlotte would like to to hang with the team, so um, that would be cool. I like how it's all the girls because for the longest time there was no all the girls. There was the girl. And now it's all the girls. And that's kind of great. Um, yeah, if she, if she gets an invitation, she will show up wherever she's been told to show up. So that's Twilight Grove. Um, was the last time that you were here when you had the dream? Did you have the dream here or did you have the dream about here? here? No, it was, in the, it was in the Grove, yeah. You were in here. Okay, so have you been back since then or is it is it been a more i mean it hasn't, I'm, it hasn't been that she, long anyway but yeah I'm, I'm gonna say she has not been back since then okay all right so and this may be <laughs> i mean does any special food show up on the table for summer ice cream ice cream. unlimited ice cream <laughs> You did, yeah there i mean there's usually always at least some ice cream there there's a lot of ice cream there for summer um you say anything or you just kind of get the ice cream coming and just kind of tuck into a bean bag or some foresty version of a bean bag some glady version of a bean bag. it's still a bean bag it's just you know uh she will show up and just kind of be quietly present and and kind of try to get a sense of where things are going I really feel, I, I, I mean, to a certain extent, um, it still kind of feels like a read the mask, but it, or pierce the mask rather, but um, that could be just sort of a passive thing to kind of see how things are going. Um, I so can do this. You, you, which would you prefer? Do you actually want to sort of actively like try to get a read on things or, or do you, or you just kind of play it by ear for a second, play it back, lay back for a second. What do you think? I'm good, um, with the, I'm think, good either way. I think well, it's, I think she needs to sit for several minutes to just kind of listen or watch, um, but I don't think she's going to actively say anything yet. So, okay. Dave, what did you have? Oh, I was just going to say, since we're still kind of working out actually what's being said, probably that makes more sense to for Summer to sit back than than be actively piercing the mask at this point. And I feel like there's... Uh... To, to a certain extent, I don't want to lay pressure, but to a certain extent where um, people are kind or at least Alicia and Summer are to some degree kind of here. Be oh, this is ugh, apparently the Twilight Glade is an actual location in World of Warcraft. That's going to make oh. that's going to make <laughs> that's going to make supporting images kind of annoying to find our good illustrative backdrop like 
Uh, if you just Google for Charles Vess, I'm sure you'll find every image you. Oh ever yeah. yeah. That's good to say. That, that's you just you just hit a, a consortium sweet spot, uh, and mine too, to be perfectly honest. Uh... Or just you know, Magical Glade has has a shit ton of stuff. So if you find one that you really like, let me just call it um, out or link it. Yeah, out. sure. Well, um, I want something I can drop in here that you guys can then, of course, cover in graffiti, as one does oh, okay. with all such magical uh, grenades. Copy image address. Let me. Uh, so I didn't grab like a ton, but there's one up on the wiki for the for the page. Oh, Hold that's. That right oh no, we don't want that. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes I, I sometimes I. <sighs> you link faster. Oh. It, it, well, I, I pulled the link off of the. Uh, Oh, no, that's no, no, don't, don't do dear. No. So Google has turned all their images into data links so that you can't do that. What do you, oh, well, I've got, yeah, I added a little plug-in thing. So yeah, so, like sometimes you can, you can like open the image in a new tab and get to the underlying Where's image. But... The... Location. You can just copy and paste it. There it is. Twilight Glade. <laughs> I kind of like that picture that you have up, Bill, just saying now. But all right, let me come back over here. Do, do, do. Oh, my God. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Does that actually work? That link? That Dave like the oh. super long data link? Oh, yeah. It works. It just. Yeah, use, use the one I just put up instead. All right, hang on. Let me get down there. Picture. Yeah, give me a week. Give me, get down there. Sorry. <laughs> I, oh, I, I that's too... lovely. Too fast on the enough. hitting enter. All right, let me. Uh... Damn it, Jason! Thank you. <laughs> Save some stuff here. Uh, oh, Google yeah, Drive awesome. and the. Is there any uh, way to super? No, there, there does not appear to be any way to. There's a there's a plugin you can get that is uh, view image. Look for like Chrome view image plugin, and it adds the button back so you can view image. Oh. Um. That's what I did when they shut that off because it makes me sad. I will do that. Um, it doesn't always work. It doesn't work at work for me for some reason, but it does seem to work most places. Give me a moment to make the magic happen. Okay. You're said. Somewhere around here, there's a... Oh, right, here we go. Like that. And I go back over here and I go to images and I go to assets and I find the Twilight Glade. Do. Maybe. Maybe I, I don't do. know that's the best um, one, but if it if it works for everyone, I'm well it's as a placeholder, I mean as a placeholder, yeah. And uh Dave, if you upload more to the to the wiki page, um you can also link directly from there. Ah, there yeah. Doot. Doot. Oh look, there's a bowl of ice cream sitting there all frosty on the uh, tree stump. <laughs> is that what that is? I had no idea. I'm saying that's what it is. That's green. That's like matcha ice cream. Okay, that's. It could be mint chip. It could like be pistachio. Bad? You say that like it's a good thing. Pistachio. No, pistachio is evil. Right, still dragging it out here. Oh. Lime, lime sherbet. There we go. All right, let's just move every. Oh my God, I need to grab this thing. Hi. I got to get this closer to everything else now. Back down to cemetery, and we'll call this the Twilight Glade. Yoink! There we go. You've all been yoinked. Yoink! You're welcome. All right. So we need to reload that. Yeah, I probably need the Dave. Yeah. Going. All right, so big emotional things happen. People are processing quietly. And then usually, usually, and this is my personal experience, usually when somebody finally speaks up, it's usually, <laughs> the sentence usually begins with, you know what really pisses me off about this? And you just out of the blue as the thing goes. And I'm not saying that uh, that's how Charlotte would ever start a sentence. But I do feel as though since 
to a certain extent, Alicia and Summer are here in support of Charlotte, that it's going to be Charlotte that speaks up first about whatever, whatever it, whatever it is. Well, I think I think you could actually just change that phrasing and it kind of fits fits the Charlotte, you know, more, which would be, you know, I what I really just don't understand. Oh, yes, because that I mean, honestly, that's almost like a identifying quote for her. I mean, or rather the outsider kind of as a concept. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that Charlotte would probably never say, you know, what pisses me off about this? <laughs> Like that probably would not be how she would preface. My chaps, uh, no, no. You know what? You, chaps you, you would, my ass. No, that's. You, 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 you would then turn around to that that react anime reaction shot from both Summer and, and Alicia with you know the the jaws drop and the eyes doing little spirals. You know what really rattles my goiters? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Clearly, Charlotte's possessed. No. Um. So Charlotte, Charlotte would say ra Charlotte would say rattle my chains because that's kind of more of a ghostly oh thing. Uh, but instead we have you know what I don't understand, and where do we where do we go with that? What do we do? What do we, where does that where does that sentence lead us? Or is it one of those things where you start to say it and then it just kind of dies off to? I can, I, can, I, I, I you know, you know, what I just don't understand is how, um, compared to what we just did in the last five minutes, it just seems so. One of the statues goes short-sighted. No, I'm, it does not. <laughs> um, <laughs> although it really wants to. <laughs> from a from a meta level, the statue would very much like to make some. The statues in the uh, sorry, I need to explain to Kelly. The statues in the Twilight Glove Grove have spirits inside of them, people, and they're there and they. Huh? It's she's had a rough couple. She's had a rough. She's had a rough couple of days. Kaylee's curious as how bad could it have gotten that Charlotte is complaining about something? <laughs> was, she walked in here just to say, like, how bad could it have gotten that Charlotte is complaining about something? Being stuck in the, the belly of the many armed beast. Yeah, there's been, it, it's, it's been a rough couple of days. It's been a rough couple of days. So, so Charlotte's thing, uh, you know, what I don't understand is how, how does everything that we've done stand up against like the last five minutes? Human individuals are really cool. Human mobs are incredibly short-sighted and flighty and irritating. And there's reasons for that. There's psychological and anthropo anthropological reasons for it, but it sucks. I like the simplicity of that. Um, I'm just gonna let you guys talk for a second. I'm not gonna say anything. I have, I have, I have no, I have no characters in this. <laughs> I have no characters in this. I can't comment. You all have to step in. For me, it's. There's a continuum, right? Like you said, there's individuals who, you know, helpful, but then it's that, um, what do they call it? Mob mentality? Quite understand. Like, why, why is it that you can take somebody? Who, in 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 normal circumstances, would you know, be the one there opening the door for you, and yet you put them in a group of twenty or thirty, and all of a sudden, whatever civilization that they had goes away. 
the because they can be anonymous in a crowd. Is that why? Is that why the internet is so mean? <laughs> That's awesome. Not not as much anonymous, I think, as able and willing to sort of give up their individual responsibility to to others. As far as the mob goes. But yeah, there's some anonymous stuff there too for probably some of the, the crueler comments that that get made. Except for Troll. Everybody knows who Troll is. <laughs> he embraces Ironically. that. Yeah, he, he embraces that. Um, well, everyone knows who he is except nobody knows who he really is, but yeah. Because it's Troll. I, I'm... Some, I, some I, thoughts? I, or, or still listening. I, oh, I've given just, up. You know, just... I've given up on trying to, you know, reduce humanity to just the the you know, the mass of humanity and and thinking that it can be controlled or that I'm the person to be able to do it. Um, I find just trying to focus on one person at a time to be enough of a challenge and a lot more realistic. I think that's more insightful than you know, dear. Yeah, well, I've had, a, I've had some good counterexamples of how focusing <laughs> on humanity as a mass and, and how to control it doesn't end well. No, I'm just thinking about the idea of, you know, the the best way to to influence people is to influence not influence i hate that word the best way to show yourself populous as a whole is to of to an individual In the end, who we are with an individual is who we are the group as a whole. Yeah. About what they're thinking about me, what I really should be doing is talking to somebody about what it is that they're worried about. I'm afraid I'm walking out of my Bluetooth range here. <laughs> uh, I, I intentionally sat down so I wouldn't do that. <laughs> All right. Well, I, One second. That sounds, Go ahead. That sorry. sounds wonderful. What 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 is on your mind, Charlotte? For me, a lot of it is just, you know, responsibility. You know, I think sometimes take hold on ourselves. I wonder. Hmm. So the thing, the thing looming in the background here is this. Uh, that original level of thing, the little, the little thing of like, all these people are angry. And that's kind of been what Charlotte's been talking about a little bit. You're like, why are everybody being, why is everyone being like this? Where if I talked with anybody individually, I could, I could fix it. Like, everybody I can't fix, or I don't see an easier way to fix it because they're not actually very nice to deal with at that level. But if individually I can fix it, is there maybe, Charlotte, a in that sort of assessment that if it were me talking to somebody, I could find out what to do? Is there a path forward to figuring out the next thing, the next action to take? 
Like that's that's what I was actually kind of exploring there, which mm -hmm. is you know, less about the the philosophical and more about the absolute, which is, you know, I'm not going to to try and change the mob because the mob will just, you know, come back as the mob again, right? It's the individuals within the mob that, you know, you really have the uh, the, the leverage worth or the the. I know you say the word understanding. Closely. I mean, yeah, so right. A connection. Like, you know, for for me, a lot of the question is, you know, how do I fit in? How do I, um, I understand the world around me as it is, and so I think you know some of that is is you know spending more time with people and maybe more time with normal people. Which is, you know, why I enjoy being with the ponies and stuff is that more time with normal people. Alicia's the offense, like, oh. but yeah, no, <laughs> more time with no normal people. And Alicia's like, all right, well, I'm out. See you guys tomorrow, I guess. Or no, yeah. it's, but it's also why you know I think kind of another another thread in there is sort of um, you yeah, know the thoughts that that uh, I've been having around wanting to pursue more with the Grail Knights, because that's actually sort of another side of people, helping people, kind of. That's not necessarily super hearing, that's more. Well, I'm sorry, you say that really interesting thing right when I stick a cookie in my mouth. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I was thinking, what now? Um, I mean, the Grail Knights are a organization that takes action and gets things done and generally avoids the public... I don't want to say public eye, but, but public backlash. I mean, because in this kind of a setting, they're not, they may be a secretive society, but they're not a secret society. There's not much reason for them to hide. I mean, certainly, Armager's right out there. And Lucius before him was. You know, they're out there. Um, but they still manage to generally. So maybe maybe the answer to... Because you've got work to do. I mean, unavoidably, Charlotte has a thing that either she has to consciously say, I'm not doing this, or do it. And it's not going to be a thing that's going to get much easier than what the way it has been. Hopefully it can. But um, <clears throat> maybe... The answer on how to proceed is to go and talk to the people who do this kind of stuff and have been for a mumble thousand years. And see, what, and, yeah, and, see <laughs> what, and, and see what kind of advice he, you know, maybe and see what kind of advice he is like, go to, go to uh, Lucius and say, Lucius, right? I didn't, I'm not suddenly making up a name, right? Yeah, but go awesome. ahead. What's that? That's him. That's him. That's him. Yeah. Go to Lucius and just say, you know, this is this is where I'm at, and I managed to do this without having to pull Armager into it. But you know, there were emotional downsides, and then the backlash here. Obviously, that was a mess. And help, or you know, whatever. Just sit down with the man, have some coffee. Let's see what he has to say. And to be honest, I said it's sort of been on my to-do list for a while now. So I mean, that's kind of why I was driving towards. I am now, right? yeah, exactly. And I am now and, a little, also a little bit. Quick, Go ahead. Quick, how much of this is in character so that we can actually jump in on this, or is this? Just... I think. I think. Uh, well, okay. Let me back up mentally. Um, I feel like Charlotte did say something about the Grail Knights, there, didn't she? That's how I kind of jumped in on that. Yep. Yeah, like, you know, she, so she's been, you know, all this stuff and then the Grail Knights and, and 
you know, they do this kind of stuff. And, and she'd also, and, and previously parts of the loops of the conversation has been talking to a specific person as opposed to blah, blah, blah. So I think, I think, um, most of that's there. Well, how about we go together if you're willing, or you can go by yourself, but keep us in the loop. Okay. Um, and I have to ask Charlotte at this, when Charlotte, when summer, Charlotte, when summer says this, had you fully processed the idea of going and, and talking to Lucius or had she like taken the individual pieces and kind of put it together and said, well, it, you know, I'm, we're happy to go with you if you want to go, uh, you know, talk to the Grail Knights and, and you're like, and you, and, and, you know, she'd kind of put your thoughts together like a blink before you did kind of a thing or, or you had already kind of been there and, and knew what was going on. I'm just, I'm just curious. No, like, and like, like I said, I mean, it, it, it had been on my, my to-do list uh -huh. of things to do already in terms of. You know, Ways to address the problems. Well, and just sort of, um, you know, seeing, seeing if the, the, the taking it to them from the sense of, you know, how to do good in a way that Joey, but just in, in a way that fits my personality better. Um, the yeah, idea of as a how child. to. Go ahead. I don't want to step on you. I was just, I was just saying that, um, you know, as well as sort of, is there a way that we can be doing this, the, the, the holes more efficiently? Is there something that I could be doing that would make this, you know? Right. And that's the nuts and bolts of it. And this may be also worthwhile to talk to them and go, you know, more broadly, I mean, there's, there's, there's been a lot of, <clears throat> nobody compares the HHL to the Grail Knights, but they do a lot of stuff. They both do a lot of stuff. They're both pretty powerful organizations. It's very, very different. Uh, Grail Knights don't have a big tower with HHL on the top of it, you know, and an official Twitter account. So they're obviously getting the work done, you know, <laughs> they're obviously getting the work done in a very different than some would say old fashioned. That's probably not inaccurate, but it's still effective. I'll, I'll give you the comparison that I had in mind for them. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that the British SAS exists, you know, that there's this special operations team who's on it. What do they do? Like, if you could find the people who can answer those questions, you're in good shape. Most people don't. So that's, that's kind of how I pictured them like this. Like this team that, that you kind of know about, but you don't know the internals about because they just don't talk about it. Right. Whereas the HHL have action figures. With Hello. with stat cards on the back car on the back. Hey James. Hey. Speaking of action figures. Speaking of action figures. Zombie Apocalypse has been successfully warded off for the night. Nice. What uh, is this? Is this like a tabletop thing, or is this another? Uh... No, it's uh. It's a LARP. Essentially, it's humans versus zombies. It's a week long game of tag. Nice. Nice. Super fun. That's fun. That's super fun. All right, welcome back from the zombies. Um. So that's a so summer kind of puts that out there. Now, uh, I am going to so my only my only uh uh tracking question i guess as far as all that goes is between alicia sort of leading you as part well not leading you but uh participating in the part of the conversation that got you to talking to people is so much more effective than talking you know talking to a person is so much more effective than talking to people when you're trying to figure out how to make a thing work or some are just you know so sort of going is like if you if you want to go to the grand we're 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 ready to go or we'll leave you to it it's really just a question of who you feel like is the one who like sort of symbolically would be the one sort of providing the team to get you from a six to a seven to go like i see a way forward i think it was it was more the, the first of the conversation of, of people versus person that kind of all right 
took me down the the path towards like wait i don't need to solve i don't i don't need to simultaneously solve this for you know the entire population of the city james you'll be thrilled yeah. to see that our backdrop is currently the twilight grove that's why i was guessing it was Yes. Also, apparently, the, the food supply customizes itself somewhat to who shows up, so there aren't actually a lot of chips here when James is, when, when uh, Harry's not around. Weird. But there is a lot of ice That's cream. Horrible. And there is what, what is that flavor of ice cream? <laughs> there, is a, there, is a lot of, there is a lot of ice cream and apparently uh, sweet tea. Uh, Likes shishito peppers and uh, Turkish coffee. And Turkish coffee. Which sounds like a really disgusting combination, if I, I may say so. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the sweet, I guess the... Not at the same time. The condensed milk and the spice. No, sweet, I don't know. That's a rough one. All right. Um, so, uh, Harry, we had a uh, series of love letters for dealing with sort of the... 24 hours immediately following Devastation Du Jour, which I will just flash back over to this map just as a quick reminder. That thing. Um, and sort of like from the events of this thing, which were not very long after school until kind of around to the next day, like the next 24 hours. And just for you, there's a love letter. It's also one for everybody else. But there's one for you. How exciting. I, I bet you're excited. So let me just, uh, I'm going to drop a link directly to yours. Yeah, and no, I'm looking at you're it. You're looking at it already? So, yeah. hey, Harry, you know those stories about the kid who decided to drop in at a party at a friend's house just for a few minutes and ended up staying all night trashing the friend's house and seeing it all go viral on YouTube the next day? That's kind of what happened to you, except your friend's house was an entire neighborhood, and that neighborhood was a big cemetery. So, um, the city's mad, people are mad, the internet either thinks the team has lost it, or, and this seems like the majority, thinks it's all your fault. And to be fair, it might even feel like they're right. <clears throat> the internet, as we have already established, has influence over you. And the current opinion on Mercury wants to shift your labels. Danger up. He's out of control. Superior down. He didn't plan it because he doesn't plan anything. If you accept that, shift labels as indicated or take a condition if you can't and show us how you're clearly accepting the Internet's opinion of what went down. If you reject the public's opinion about you, the team and the situation, make the reject influence move and let's see how it goes down. If... Because I believe you mentioned this kind of in passing with one of your advances. If you use an advance to permanently remove your influence the internet has on you forever, that's huge. Take the advance as written. Make a statement to the public. Not the one where you have to roll a statement. To, there's a move for making a statement. To, but make a statement to the public about however it is you decide to sort of respond to all this. And then make the time passes legacy move. So this is really more about choices than rolling. I guess it could be about rolling, depending on how you go. I kind of find these uh, love layers, these particular batch of love layers, interesting because they all kind of drill down into other moves. Everybody's are kind of like that, except for except for Adams, because Adams is Adam Adam broke the world, so he gets weird love letters from now on. Good well, job, Adam. Love letters. What's that? He gets letters. He gets love letters that just sort of happen. Not so much like where there's, well, I guess there's still rolling on his, but I'm kind of bummed now, though, as much as he was, that he didn't get one of those middle of the road responses because I'm almost positive which one he would have picked and it would have left him coming to the Grail Knight, like right as Charlotte came to the Grail Knight, which would have been awesome to kind of get you guys all kind of back in the same room. Um, that was my hope. Oh, yeah? Was that where you were going? I thought you were going with that. I thought you might have been going, I pick people was, and then looks meaningful. That was the one I wanted. Yeah. I pick people looks meaningfully at the GM. Um, Harry, what do you think? 
What say um, you? Yes, because my things here in Superior are so good. I don't even know if you can. See, I write the... No, I, to... I can. Yeah, I can. It's just danger that minus two and superior is at minus one. So, so you would be swapping. You'd be swapping them. You'd be swapping crappy with crappy. I was actually thinking today, or actually kind of over the last couple of weeks, because like Charlotte did a very interesting thing with one of her, like one of her stat locks, she locked it too. And a lot of times you think is people will get these things. They're like, I'm going to get my stat to three and I'm going to lock it. Um, I wonder if there's any... I guess from a game tactics point of view, if there's any margin in like, I'm going to lock this stat at minus two. Like I am always going to be terrible at this. <laughs> it, 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 it does free up a lot. Game mechanic. It does free up a lot of points. <laughs> like if you're just going to establish, man, I don't people like ever. <clears throat> Or something, or you know, I'm just not, I'm not a, I'm not a planner, you know. Uh, you, you just don't do this. I, I, I mean, I mean, I guess it depends on the concept and stuff like that. But I, if there's a benefit, the benefit I suppose is that you freed up a lot of points for other, for other stats, um, and keeping them sort of consistently solid at the cost of being terrible at one thing. Above minus two. <laughs> yeah. At the cost of always it's, being it's, terrible. It's it's like the D and D character who who takes you know a charisma of six Chris, or something charisma like that. Charisma by dump stat. Yeah. Yeah. There's a really Top interesting. Back, you know. Not to go too far into a tangent, but there's a really interesting um, sort of a a D and D old school D and D hack called White Hack, where you've got your standard D and D stats, and it's very much a a you know it's only like three classes, but they're very very flexible and they they. Uh, uh, very, very, very flexible. And they they do an interesting thing where, because it's like roll six stats in order kind of a deal. But if one of your stat, if any of your stats are especially low, you get like more skills or so. That's not quite right, but there's like, there's like benefits. To right, have. It, it, it kind of like, there's actually like bennies for, uh, having that low stat, and if it's a if it's a stat that happens to be like the core stat, so you, like you can do the fighter with the strength of six, and that's not terrible. <laughs> like it's not it's not as bad as it seems. Like there's ways to make that work. That um, it you know you're just not you're not the muscle bone guy. You're still a fighter. You're just not you know Schwarzenegger. It's it's mm -hmm. you know but. Yeah, there isn't so there isn't exactly a dump stat in there because even the dump stats kind of work to your advantage or in some ways. Anyway, um, or you can do these. There's a couple things you can pick a couple skills that you're good at, and basically you can't fail at those at those skills. Sort of, if they're within, it's not so much skills, but if there's things that are associated with my guild or whatever like if it's a role that has to do with my guild and it's in this particular stat that i've attached this guild to i can't do badly at that role so my charisma is a four but i'm gonna put my black hat thieves guild i'm attaching that to charisma so i only have a four but i can't actually screw it up as long as it's me trying to be social inside of that circle kind of a thing i don't know I, I really went off of the tangent there. I'm sorry. I'm still kind of processing that game because it sort of blew my mind. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, neither here nor there. Harry, we're still back to you. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Um, I had already been looking at doing that one as my advance. Were you looking at, I mean, the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the someone permanently loses influence. And of... that's kind of why I threw it out there as a option because i i mean it wasn't so very long ago that the influence that the internet sort of got influence over you i think it was like two sessions back two or three and harry's never really worried that much about that kind of stuff and to have him but suddenly also... so i kind of threw it out there as an option because maybe you maybe that's a really cool symbolic thing to go you know what all you people are stupid 
And I'm going to go on record on this video on YouTube to just say, all of you people are stupid. I'm deleting all my social media accounts. But yeah, you know, that's not. Um, there would be a lot more damage if I had not. If the menagerie had not been here. Yeah. So, I mean, there's certainly, I mean, in yeah. that in that particular thing, there's still rolling going on. Because if you decide to go with that one, you lock out the Internet does not have influence over you anymore basically ever and you uh is that all that one does i can't remember do you raise a stat too what is that yeah, actual add advance? plus one to so a label you raise a label you lock out the influence and then you roll the uh, time passes for the legacy move because you can do this speech but there's also this role attached to it going what did the legacy think of what you said Oh yeah, that's that's not going to be a fun talk. Well, I just you know but, I think I think those two I think those things all kind of change together. I mean, do, you, do does that seem like a, a yeah, pretty no, potent like little combination? Movie. Is that pretty good? Yeah, and also it you're right. It wasn't that long ago that the internet gained influence, but yeah. also in like the past two sessions, I've basically just been uh, screw everyone. One. Yeah. <laughs> like I walked down with my parents, remember? Yeah, no, you absolutely I mean it's definitely been a lot of that. And Harry's never really worried about that ha stuff ha up until ha oh. Harry turned thirteen all over again. Yeah. But right I mean, right when that hap I mean, up until that point when that happened, Harry's been pretty easy going, not really worried about what other people were saying. And then he did care about that and he's also been like super like, Screw you guys, I'm leaving with everybody a lot. So all right, so you kind of were already kind of sketching out what that what that. So, the way it's yeah. written is, if you use an advance to permanently remove influence, the internet has over you forever. That's huge. Take the advance as written. So, raise yeah. a stat. Uh, make a statement to the public, and I want to hear because you had kind of just about already almost sketch sketched it out right there. So, what is that? First of all, where is it? I mean, do you do you hunt down? Do you hunt down Power Pony and say, you know, you know, I need to uh, let's let's sit down for a second. Let's talk to me about I want to talk about this thing that, you know, everybody's saying. Or do you just like wait for one of the, you know, one of the reporters is like, hey, Harry. And you turn around, I was like, what? And he's like, holy crap. He actually listened. And, and you, is it random reporter? Yeah, is it I, somebody you find? Is it? No, no, would love to have a, a, an interview. Yeah, but. Um. I mean, is it your, is your family be... press? Is it your family's press secretary? No, I no. figure there are enough reporters around. Oh yeah, that I can just. I will let one. Is it that day, or is it sort of like the? Do you, do you pick it a, a particularly annoying one, or or one that's been polite? I like that question. One that's been polite. Eight. Okay, so not Tasha Star. We don't hunt down no. Tasha Star for a little <laughs> <laughs> cooperation. Tasha we, we, Star. Never we hunt left. down Tasha Star for a lot of reasons, but uh... yeah. Um. So, I, how long do you let this? Is it like? Because it was it was coming up on end of day at the end of the fight. You like go the next morning, like you're getting ready for school, and you're like hearing this stuff still on the news, and they're like the anger, the all the faux rage I, this 24-hour rage cycle is has gotten to you and you like just zoom out of the room and go and find a, sec a reporter and go listen i turn. think there's been a full day so it's like after school so you've gone through like the news in the morning and your folks kind of not really talking about it really loudly and, yeah. and the the kids tweeting about it and, and you know the tweets cause and, it's, it's the internet as a whole not just and like the looks at school and you get out of school and Andy's kind of halfway between like just trying to be supportive and halfway going like, whoa, like she's a little bit kind of in shock because you guys have never really had like this kind of press coming down on you. Um, yeah. So there's a little bit of that like she's trying, but you clearly it's bothering you. So she's sort of like, so it's like you come out of school on the steps and the reporters are waiting maybe 
because they wouldn't they can't get on gardener grounds the security is let's just say sufficient but it wouldn't be you could go right outside and they'd be waiting is that what you is that how it goes or camped, do you... they're camped out like zombies they're camped out like zombies <laughs> they're, they're camping. camping on your spawn point so they're they're i mean if you want reporters you can walk right up to them right outside the school if you want yeah 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 and that so means... there's there's the flurry of questions like harry what happened like, Her, uh, academy in the background of the shot i like it oh, i like it so much now listen so guys I, I let's let's frame this up a little bit i before i i harry's so and i'm also giving harry time to think about exactly how this is going to look but you guys had kind of retreated to the I gotta, I gotta catch, I gotta catch up the timeline a little bit, Harry. So I apologize, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, get, we're coming back around to you. I promise, because you're gonna be the big thing. But uh, so the girls were at the glade, and did you, did we go to Lucius right away? Was that a sleep on it kind of a thing? What, what did, what, how did that end up shaking out? And I asked Charlotte primarily. I think that was probably an, an after school tomorrow kind of thing we'll talk to him after okay so stayed up kind of late just not talking about it i figure i probably have to have a talk with uh, parker somewhere uh right the... and i owe you a talk with parker yes so Beyond that on top of the on top of this there probably needs to be a talk with parker but right right okay so Let's get a. Let, we'll have a park because you guys don't. You don't need to be there all night. Or you, honestly, you could text back and forth. But I, I'd rather, you know, at least a phone conversation, if not a face-to-face -face kind of thing. I, she could be waiting when you guys get back to the apartment, kind of just sort of. Okay. You know, across the street in the in the in the suburban. In, in the black Escalade, yeah. In the black in the black Escalade, yeah, it's better. Um, so we'll leave that for just a sec. But, yeah, yeah. That's um, right. That's the thing. Summer, what is your evening look? I mean, do you, do you and Alicia go back then back home together? Do you hang out in the Twilight Grove overnight? Um, well, Summer's really going to stay with <laughs> anybody Alicia. who thinks who she thinks needs some company. So I think I can I think I can safely say Alicia is not staying in the Twilight Grove overnight. Oh, that's uh, fair. Um, but I, I think I had a Pierce the mask rolling for Charlotte, but I don't think we saw that. So, well, uh, if, if you if you want if you want to. If you want, there's no reason you can't. I mean, she's talking. You guys are shooting the breeze for hours. The option's there. Yeah, we'll take it. Take the option. Take the shot. Uh, and the question really is just, what do you want me to do? And if it's the same as uh, for Alicia earlier, which is just hang out, that's fine. Um, but she'll she'll kind of try to get a sense of what Charlotte wants. So the question there, uh, so this is after time has passed a bit. So the, the uh, certainly the answer may have shifted somewhat, but so Charlotte, the question to you, like the heart of heart, you know, what do you want me to do? That's to summer in this case, as I guess maybe the evening's winding down kind of thing, night's winding down. All right, so at, ponder that for a second, cause I gotta catch, I gotta catch Adam up. This bond really there, uh, I mean, it kind of makes sense to a certain extent because you went after her. So emotionally, she's open to the idea of just believing you. And I don't mean believing what you say, but like believing Adam, believing the truth that is Adam. Um, so Charlotte, you have a thing before you uh, at a very meta level. I should say Margie really have a thing before you. Um, the option is continue to remember this. I don't, were you, you weren't necessarily around the conversation, but continue to have this. Really, the, the, the thing for you would be continue to have this niggling thing going on in the back of your mind that this isn't that what's going on with Adam is not right. Like he's not because the the truth, the reality of Adam as it presents right now is he is a public superhero who is well known, well liked powerful because he has a genome in his chest full stop okay and then there's this other little reality which is the atom that we all know from 52 some odd sessions 
okay? <laughs> and those two realities do not jive. They do not coincide. There is, you know, Kenome stuff and the other things sort of complicating things. But this is the – so some of the stuff that Adam's done in the past, like seeing the truth of a thing, that kind of stuff, that isn't this Adam. This Adam doesn't see the truth in things because he's a big, fat liar. No. Um no, can't teleport. He he can't teleport. That's also notable. In this reality, <laughs> this Adam doesn't teleport. Um, so there's stuff here that just doesn't. Um, so the niggling thing in the back of your mind is starting to wear on your brain. You haven't forgotten, which means you can kind of be a part of that. But it also means that it's going to cost you a condition. Or Adam is Adam. Have a have a have a uh, take potential. I think Adam is Adam. Adam is Adam. Take some potential and see the whole, you know, coin standing on no, end. No, 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 none of that proof. None of that, you know. And do you, honestly, you have enough in your mind without dealing with the stress of the thing. You just kind of put that out of your mind. I never did mind about the little things like true reality. <laughs> um, it's reality. Come on. I mean, I'm living in a multiverse right now. <laughs> so. <laughs> So Adam, I will say this, things are, things are getting, so I kind of looking at your love letter, there's a lot of things that aren't happening. So you're not getting, the voices in your head aren't getting stronger. The dreams aren't really that bad. At least one of your friends is starting to really deeply buy into this. It's getting, it's getting stronger. It's getting deeper. It's going to work. You're sure it's going to work. Everything is swell. Everything is it's just good, swell. It's a good life. It's a good life. I don't think I've You're never gonna say it's a good life. I, I have never seen that movie. Uh, I've only seen it referenced very heavily in Exorcist, in Exorcist 3. Um, I've never seen that movie, and I don't know that I'll ever be able to watch it because by the time I actually watch it, I'm going to find it so unspeakably creepy because it's never been referenced to me except in a creepy context. Like, in some sort of mind-bending Twilight Zone kind of context. Um, yes, well, it is a Twilight Zone episode as opposed to a movie, so you could, you know, sometime if you're watching Twilight Zone, you'll probably run across it. Oh, I'm thinking of It's a Wonderful Life, but I oh, again, it's a wonderful life. That's 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 very different. Oh, but is it though? <laughs> is it really? Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I haven't seen the Twilight. Yeah, episode there are either. good angels in. It's a wonderful life. I don't think I'll ever be able to see It's a Wonderful Life either without being slightly creeped out. Anyway, um, just because, again, never been referenced to me except in a creepy way. So, Summer, uh, we have Schrodinger's Summer there. We're not sure exactly what's going on with her. Uh, Charlotte, what what is it that you kind of want from Summer, want me to do? What do you want me to do with regards to Summer? towards the end of the, you know, like, do you want the company, somebody hanging out, sleeping in the grove, whatever, or are you good? What is the other I thing think you need? I, I... <laughs> no, I, 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 I think I want to just spend the night here, and if, if Summer wants to, great. Then she'll do that. Okay. A little bit of companionship there. Um, all right. Alicia, Alicia paces back and forth in the living room, waiting for Summer to get back. So, and Gla she... glad to get her wristwatch, looking up at the wall clock. I'll, okay. I'll be sure to notify people where I am. Is it, is it, uh, but, I, but before you do, I need to ask, Alicia, do you text before Summer reassures you that she's, or lets you know what's, what the plan is? Um, do you worry text before you're caught up to speed? Because I need to know. No... Do you manage to she hold doesn't. it together long enough to not worry text? I, not be caught she's worry texting? Pre, she's probably preoccupied after her chat with uh, Parker in the uh, okay in the Escalade. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, okay, so Adam, you have a very smooth evening. You know? Uh, good family time. No bad dreams. Is, is Adam, oh. Adam still on? I don't know if he's on or not. Because I thought he said Somewhat. he needed like... He right. said yeah. he wasn't, he's on like the phone. I think he's like just driving around, so he's not rolling or anything like that. He's just, uh, okay. right. I'm just, you know, but yeah. I'm just letting him know. I'm, I'm trying to catch up timeline wise. 
okay. kind of everybody. So let's. Uh, I want to. I know Dave's got a thing, so let's get Dave's thing, or rather Dave uh, uh, oh. charade. So getting her back to the apartment, and there's the Escalade, and you don't even. This is like a slight heel turn pivot kind of thing, and just head over, and the window's rolling down as you head across. Actually, the door just opens. Right. Um, so, uh, yeah, you get in there and, and, uh, is, is, it, it, it sound like a funny question. Is Parker actually the one driving or are we sitting in the back seat? She's in the what? back and the glasses. Okay. Up. So it's, okay. uh, yeah, she's not, no, she's in the back. Um, you can actually see her flip on the security screen kind of kind of thing. Well, that's been an interesting evening and when we when we said uh, when I suggested uh, extracurriculars, post school extracurriculars would work fine within your schedule, I was thinking field hockey. Uh, but all things considered, you seem to have comported yourself fairly well. Are you well, we, we 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 did check some of the field that was you know burbling against us. Never mind, that was like really <laughs> weak. Apologies. Uh, I'll let it pass. Uh, you've been under a lot of stress. You dropped off the radar for a bit. I'm assuming. Uh, a, a quick visit to the or a, a visit to the uh, team base. Yes. How do you feel everyone is doing right now? Um, well, I've not been in touch with with most of them since the incident. Um, really? Well, Charlotte and you know, just with uh, Charlotte and Summer. I see. Um, well, how are Char how are Charlotte and Summer? Um, Summer seems her normal, boisterous self. Um, Charlotte uh, is still sort of processing uh, whatever it was that that happened to her. Um, is that what happened? This was all sort of apparently centered around um, something, something that Charlotte ran into or that ran into Charlotte, mm -hmm. and. Um, so in your estimation, that wasn't an, uh, a manifestation of Charlotte's abilities herself? No, that that is not how I would evaluate what was going on there. She seemed uh, peripheral to that. Subconscious is a powerful thing, especially with powerful people. True, um, but I would have expected to have seen more obvious manifestations of her had um, she been responsible for this um even subconsciously all right we'll we'll enter that in we have a few analysts who would probably want to debate that one way or the other but uh that's neither here nor there but she seems on the mend emotionally speaking i think so i think one of the advantages of having supportive peer group is the ability to process traumatic events mm. how's that going supportive peer group um well um yeah i'm i am concerned about um i'm concerned about where things are with um with the team at the moment given uh gail left given the 
in a bit of a hurry. I mean, he does everything in a bit of a hurry, but he left the yes. scene in a bit of a hurry at the end. And you seem to have uh, had some advice for him in the midst of things. How would you assess his current state? I think he's under a lot of pressure at the moment, but I have I have little doubt that um, he will be. Uh, he has some good foundations for being able to make uh, good decisions out of things. So um, I think once he gets past some, you know, once he has an opportunity to sort of process some of the things that went on that um, he will do better where, you know, what his, what his long-term status or direction is, is difficult to say at this point. All right. Well, and of course, Adam's fine. So, uh, or do you now, yes, do you say anything right then with, with her? I'll just say Adam seems to have come out of this unscathed. Um, well, as, as far, as far as I know, well, it's Adam. Um, after all, gives a bit of a, after all, it's Adam gives a bit of a, you know, polite smile. Yes. Pishtosh, of course, it's Adam. Yes. Uh, yeah. We're not, we're, that, that conversation we're not having at the moment. Um, I don't know what Mike just posted up there, which, which emoticon that's supposed to be, but... It's He's, just a very condensed one. I love that. He has a good base for doing good things. Lol, BRB, I need to go tell the whole internet to screw themselves. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, so we're not likely to get a super powered meltdown in the next 24 hours. Do you imagine? Well, nothing, assuming nothing else pops up like this did. Um, and I think it was this external, this external actor, whatever it was that was primarily responsible for, for what happened here. Uh, but I don't. I don't see anything. I don't see anything dire or dangerous um, coming from any members of the menagerie at the moment. This was this was something that you recovered, Charlotte. It was some some space or place or thing that you recovered Charlotte from. Yes. Um. Yes, as I understand it, um, I, I've only had kind of a brief chance to chat with uh with summer about it i was more directly involved with harry. um controlling with harry, harry. control controlling gale is what she says controlling gale yes and yes, well done given... on, well done on that right. it wouldn't have been something oh. that we would have briefed you on because it frankly unexpected way for things to go hang on for just one second okay A load of laundry. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sitting here sorting socks, and I have come up with an appalling number of singletons. I blame James. I think he took half of my socks with him. Yeah, no, I think most of those singletons have been there for, like, a few months. Well, they weren't in the singletons box. You have enough singletons to have a singletons box? Yes, we, we have a box that just the singletons go into, and then um, periodically we pull it out and see whether we've been able to make matches from them. No one told me that there is a singleton box. It's the box over on the far right-hand side. I figured that was just overflow because it had been too 
long since we sorted the socks as the main. Oh, so socks, some of these socks, socks may actually have been things that were <laughs> that were singletons that you put back in the in the sorting box, not in the singletons box. No, because last time I was doing laundry, that, I Mike. also sorted the socks bo sock box because I was leaving home. There's a sock box? I, and that's I, why I think you probably <laughs> end up taking half of my socks with you. Thanks. Why would I take your socks? They're not you know that There's about four or five. See, what you have to do, Dave, is you get, you get 12 pairs of black ankle-high gold toes, and that is the only socks that you own. And then nobody okay. takes them because they're terrible. Dad, you have stolen some of my black socks. Yeah, yeah, sure. An <sighs> appalling number of my black socks have gone missing, and they are in your closet. To be uh, it's better than when he steals my underwear. To be at least then it's in the same room. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> I don't. I don't, I'm not even parsing that. That I don't. There's imagery there I cannot have in my head. Although I have taken great pleasure in the last couple of uh, weeks of sending selfies to my daughter when I steal one of her shirts. Um, <laughs> Because I can wear her, I can wear some of her T-shirts now, which is sort of funny. And one of half her... of my T-shirts have been stolen from Dad, so that's fair. yes, that's fair. All right. Um. So anyway, so uh, wh where she was going with that was, you know, uh, well done, controlling. We never would have briefed you on that because it never would have occurred to us that Harry would be somebody who would need to be handled in that kind of situation, and it's somewhat worrying that he was. Clearly, there was some sort of influence going on the overall situation and perhaps this, whatever this creature was that had some sort of impact on him. Well, that's um, worrying also that there's a creature out there that can have that kind of influence, but that's not something to lay blame on it as much as something to investigate. So your assessment right now is that the team is... Stable? At least... The, the, my concerns around the team are more... Uh, are, are less about the individuals and any problems from them as much as... With, with one possible exception. As much as with... She kind of like gives you team a little bit of a... Like a tipped head kind of... Really kind of... You know, really kind of frown, quizzical sort of half smile, half frown thing at that, but lets you keep going. Uh, as much as, as team cohesion issue and dealing with uh, leadership, um, actual sort of perceptions of the you know, team within the, within the individuals that we have. Um, Without, there... that is a question I've been meaning to ask. Have you given any thought to the leadership of the team? I've given it quite a bit of thought, um, and I'm concerned really, about... Really? That's very interesting. I, I had hoped that you might be willing to step up. And you realize that you've completely wrong-parsed that sentence. Because what she said was, have you given yeah. any thought to the leadership of the team? And you parsed it as how the team will be led, and she's like... Actually, I very intentionally parsed it in that <laughs> direction. I did. I, 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 I saw the potential there, and I very intentionally... You, you very intentionally I, moved it another way? Yes. Uh, I want, so how, I wonder how far you get along that sentence before she... Um, I've given it a lot of thought. Real. I should probably just say, really. Do Say more. on. The, tell me more about that. And what do you say? Well, I'm concerned that none of the, the individuals seem to have a particular interest in leadership or are questionable in whether they would be the right right person to be the leader. Um, hmm. uh, frankly, um, you know, would you Leo, like Leo did an excellent job of... Um, exercising sort of soft force in terms of guiding us and leading us to the right things to do, but was able to snap out commands when need be. Um, even Jason before him was able to stand up in the right circumstances and, and make things happen. And I'm not seeing that 
as the I, I'm not seeing an obvious replacement for them amongst the the current team members from anyone you know possibly Harry um hmm. he's he's got sort of the formal training the question is whether he has an interest or whether he's honestly planning on on staying with the team or moving to the HHL oh you think that might be a I know there's been some pressure on him to make that decision, but he doesn't seem uh, enthusiastic about it, but hasn't acted to end the speculation. Yes. Hmm. Well, if you keep thinking on that. I, I look, I, I appreciate your insight. Maybe uh, I would love to hear if you, think another another option may present itself or, or, or some the situation may change for uh, the team as it stands the dynamics if if I th if I think that a, a good candidate um, is available I will certainly uh, I will certainly speak up or will act to um, will act to make that happen huh all right well if he yes if we should talk more about that did you have anything that you wanted to bring to me? yes um oh that seemed forceful i have concerns about myself as she, as, she as, frowns a bit as, like i wasn't expecting this uh as you know um i i have been you know i was influenced by my father in the past um i've done what i can have taken steps have gotten help in terms of sort of throwing off that influence but i know that even beyond kind of, you know, sinister influences that may may have been put upon me at some time, you know, the mad scientist nature. I know beyond that, I just have, you know, training and reflexes and and so forth that don't necessarily lend themselves to always doing the right thing or or making the best decisions. Um, and I'm I'm sure that must be a a concern of yours as well. Um, hence, I, hence, hence, hence the length of the leash that I'm on. Well, the leash is getting longer. You've you've proven yourself to a, to a, actually a fairly significant degree to the organization. I'm a little troubled that you don't feel as though you've proven yourself to yourself. But I well, don't want to, I don't want to dismiss what you're bringing. What what are you particularly concerned about? Are you uh, you've been screened mentally. You're not going to suddenly get a, a kill command and turn into a mindless assassin. I Unless, certainly hope certainly hope not. I mean, at least not to the point that we've been able to detect with multiple profiles. So what are your... What specifically are you concerned about? I mean, I, I just... I'm already sleep. I mean, I'm already not sleeping well, so give me something else to worry about. <laughs> That's certainly not my intent, Agent Parker. Um, I just need I just need your help in in making sure that you know I am um, kind of doing the right thing, and you know if you know if there are, you know if if I'm if I am doing the right thing, I you know, appreciate the feedback. If if I'm not, I need need your assistance, perhaps, um, in in doing in changing course. You are a in one aspect. You are Achilles Shin's daughter. You are also an Aegis asset. You are also 
a member of the menagerie. God, that's a ridiculous name. Anyway, but that's neither here nor there. One would hope that satisfying the requirements of the first of those things has fallen, I think, somewhat significantly by the wayside. And I will continue to hope that that and, and keep an eye towards that, obviously, as it is my job to do so. But in as much as those two things, the, the second and the third, and you are many other things, but as, as much as the second and the third have frequently parallel requirements, needs, uh, they will not always fall completely in alignment. And I don't know that I can always give you the advice to do the best thing because the best thing is only going to speak to one of those considerations. And sometimes you will have to decide that the best consider that the that the best thing is not the best thing for the Aegis asset, but it is the best thing for the member of the menagerie. Hopefully, sometimes, I mean, otherwise I might get a paid I might get a bit of a pay cut. You will also decide the other way. So I can't always give you the best advice, at least partly because I'm under certain contractual ob and, and legal obligations to not give you the kind of advice that you may need to hear. I'll try. But uh, I'm no Ted Waters. I was never able to have a completely separate... Uh, path of communication with my wards as it were which is just a completely obtuse statement from your point of view like you don't know ted waters really too much from a hole in the ground but whatever her read is on waters it's not um it, it seems to be that he, that he was able to sort of like take these two considerations and balance them out a little bit more a little bit more uh, differently than she did in any case I think uh, Alicia, you know what you you know what I think you need to do is if you're worried about how you're going to do, you need to go out and do things as profoundly as you can. Make what you decide to do as clear and difficult to misinterpret as possible and I think that the good and the bad of it will sort itself out from from there that might uh, that might lead you down some paths that you wouldn't normally take because you have been trained to a life of the oblique and the subtle and this life may not call for that, especially if you have doubts about your ability to lead it. Sometimes you simply have to jump in and worry about the rocks later. I'm not sure if I'm going to get in trouble for giving you that advice, but I'm going to stand by it. I appreciate that. Um, and uh, I, I appreciate his advice and I appreciate that you were to give it. Well, all right. I, that's not what she says, but um, <laughs> so. Uh, do you need? We're we're doing as much damage as con damage control as we can with in regards in regards to controlling panic in the city. Uh, thus far, our reads are that the panic will be controlled. People are, and there has there haven't been any fatalities. Uh, injuries have been relatively minor. 
Uh, so that speaks well. Well, that's good. But we can only do so much, and there does seem to be a bit of, uh, quite a bit of public unrest about this, partly because your team has thus far been uh, <clears throat> quite beloved, and people are taking this as a bit of a personal affront. Uh, the, the, the golden child in the family just decided to break all the fine china. And that's not accurate, and it's not how no, it, it's not. It's not how it happened, but it is how people seem to be reacting to it. Well, that's at some point it's difficult to address how people are reacting to it when that's not actually what happened. Well. You'll find, I think, and I'm sure you probably already know, that people are not nearly as easy to uh, calmly address as a person. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> so, I was just having a, was just having a conversation to that effect uh, not long ago, but really, yes. No, and, and did the person who gave you that same observation, were they, were they also deeply insightful and, and, and seen as, as, as wise and, and erudite and, and, and as, as well-spoken? Um, I don't know. No, I, I didn't get that feedback from them. Oh, well then. I'm afraid we may have found something in common. Uh, disregard for the mob. Uh, cheers, I suppose. For the mob, perhaps, but not for the people in it. Very well. All right. Well, and, and, and again, if that's if uh, she'll she it, it's late and you certainly had quite a day, and I believe it's school tomorrow. So with this, I'll leave you. Has has the rooming situation been satisfactory? Um, I get, yes, yes, it has. Um, and look, marigolds. Planted some marigolds there on the uh, parking strip. I saw that they were there. I had heard reports that marigolds. I am glad I got to see it with my very own eyes. Well done. I'm sure they'll do very well. With the proper water and, and uh, the, the, the climate here should be appropriate for them. I like them. They all look like... Uh, they, they, sort, of, devices? sort of sort of a, a golden flak dispersal in anti-aircraft from air, anti-aircraft areas. I suppose that's not very artistic or natural sounding, but it's what the, it's what they've always reminded me of. Well, you know, if you have if you, if you had an even enough pattern covering uh, covering the sky, actually, I could see that. Yeah. I, see. I was trying to come up with something paralleling what you had said it sounded yes, like. Yes. Yes. Like, Anti-personnel mines. And what was what was summers? It looks like sunshine. <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, thank you. I appreciate uh, appreciate the council. And um, if there's something you think of that we as a team can do vis-a-vis -vis, um, the public reaction, um, well, please do pass it on. Thus far, they haven't. They don't have a lightning rod to act on, so it's generally just milling about with torches, looking for a castle to march upon. So, provided that doesn't happen, I think. Well, that's promising. Be, I think you should be fine. Well, I exaggerating slightly, I suppose. All right. So, let's jump forward to Harry being a lightning rod and a castle to march upon. Unless somebody had something else that would happen between, like, I guess, sort of late in the evening up until the end of school that they wanted to do or have happen or anything of that nature. I do have one thing. You do? I did want to... Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh. Back up. 
I need to spend more time on the wiki simply because uh, it helps me understand the. Uh, let me get over to Gardner Academy. No, we don't. I got it. Oh, I might be able to get there via. Uh, we don't have a page for Marion, so I'm not going to be able to get to the other guy. What we, um, yeah, yeah, I don't think we, I don't think we created a page for him. He's yeah, it's off of Daft's page. What, uh, what was uh, Marion's friend's name? Starts with a C. Bill. Caden. Caden. Um. I'm gonna to have to leave this one. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to ham fist my way through it. But yeah, let's get to Harry. It's fine. Yeah, I want to. I, I don't want to ham fist my way through it. I've got, but I got a thing in the back of my mind with him and, and the stuff that happened yesterday. So anyway, um, so end of school, and you guys were gonna meet up, uh, uh, Charlotte, and you guys were gonna meet up, uh, sort of after school and head for Lucius's. So so uh, Ghost Girl's kind of headed that way. Um, Harry's walking of all things out to the front gate um what is anyone else i actually i'll just go around what what is what are uh alicia what are you doing you know, school's letting out harry's um you see harry kind of heading out resolutely toward the the pack of excited badgers that are right outside the fence um, man, on I, a, man on a mission, kind of a thing. Can, can I catch up with him? You can. He's not. He's just walking. He's not like okay speeding out there. So yeah, I mean, if you hurry, um, you'll be seen to be now. Just so you know. Uh, oh, if, if if he's gonna be ending up like in front of a huge flock of reporters. Yeah, he's probably, walking up the camera. To yeah, you're walking oh, okay. up the cameras that are already rolling. So. That's, uh, I mean, okay. yeah, that's a bit of a problem. And you're, yeah, that might be some, some sleuthy news reporter would, might be able to put that together. Um, in fact, I mean, the only, well, so what, so what do you do? I mean, you start, your instinct is to go and go, lightning rod castle, but. Um, I will. I, I will step to the side out of the out of the camera arc and mm -hmm. just kind of I want to be close enough where I can hear but not in the, not the immediate the, line of sight not be in the frame yeah summer what about you um I think she will kind of express interest in what's going on but she's not gonna get too close yeah that kind of distance what about you Adam Harry's marching resolutely out there towards the towards the um, reporters. I, and you're the one. I mean, you're somebody who's out, so I mean, you could actually be up there because you're a known. Yeah, teammate. but this is kind of Harry's the whole thing. So right. Adam's just gonna get. I think it's one of those things where Adam sees him go up, and it's just like that that reassuring now. It's like, yeah, okay, you got this, Harry. <laughs> okay, uh, Carrie's kind of hanging out near you. It's like, what's uh, what's he doing? Oh, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> We, we, we caused a whole bunch of problems yesterday. And... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that Keeping was... Giving Parker a headache. <laughs> Giving Parker a headache. Okay. So there, there's, of course, the flurry of, of newspaper... I'm sorry. Uh, Is, go ahead. Uh, it was, was Charlotte actually on her way off? Charlotte, just... Charlotte's there, but I, I mean, in, no. She'd be meeting people here, but... Well, I mean, actually, she could probably... Yeah. I mean, so Charlotte... I mean, you can. I don't know how you're getting here, but it, certainly you have a view of this thing, and you're waiting for. Well, I, I have been actually auditing classes. Oh and right. Yep. So going into study hall. So so I you yeah you would have been out kind of with because the study hall certainly at least auditing the study hall, which is where everybody's kind of hanging out and everything like that. Um. So you're kind of around. Uh. Who are you? I mean, you could certainly again, it's you, so it's not like. You couldn't just walk up there with Harry. Um, 
you know, Adam's right there, probably Summer's nearby. Um, you can see Alicia sort of looking in the shadows, um, or off to the side at least. Uh, I, you know, on the one hand, it's like, I want to be out of the line of the camera. On the other hand, I'm, you know, she's also tactically speaking available to like, body check him out of the line of the camera it's like nope this has gone too wrong he needs to be taken down um kind of thing so yes because that would look even better on oh camera. yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially after all of the how many tapes of of you cursing at harry thing oh yeah well it's pretty much just the same thing it's just the bleep but yeah the fuzzy harry the, gale the gives piss. speech again to the internet and gets knocked down by a fellow student. I don't know if you read um, Alicia's love letter, but it specifically mentioned that the bit where she's yelling at you is like showed up, gets played, and anywhere is it, her lips are easy enough to read that there's specific words that have to be pixelated on mainstream news. Um, Hopefully, Harry. Well, that everybody knows okay. Harry's Harry. Yeah, everyone uh, knows Harry's Harry. I mean, that's okay. That's, that's... So it's just it's just the naughty words she used. How easy is it to read her lips with a mask? True. Well, her chin is, is or is her face mm -hmm. covered? I thought her. I thought yeah, her chin, face is covered. Oh, I I've lost track of all the different facial. Yeah, it's things. it's 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 like it's like a from the nose down kind oh. of. Uh, I don't. I hadn't thought about that. Oh but, right, it was. Yeah, I was thinking. Discord. I was thinking it was like mouth up that was, but not nose down. Oh yeah, probably we, I have to lose the funny thing about pixelating her mouth then. Fine. I, I think her mask should be like, um, uh, like one of those pixelated montages though, just so it looks like she's permanently being censored. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> just always. Or, or just, you know, where the mouth is, it just has like a pound sign and an uh, exclamation point and, and, you know, an asterisk, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So she's she's like Prince, who took a symbol as his name, but except hers is just punctuation and character. Yeah. I like it. Thanks, guys. Feel the love. So Charlotte, where where are you in this then? As you're, are you, are you nearby, are you do you go up, you know, show up support for Harry, or like sort of like lurking in the background, but in frame? Are you back with one of the other teammates? Are you hanging with the ponies? That are available. I I think what I once I see that he's sort of you know heading heading towards the camera I might up to him and say you know do do you need some support here? What does Harry say to that if if, if Ghost Girl sort of just there suddenly? You got this. You need some support. Oh. I don't know if that grown is Harry's or James's. I'm gonna go with James's. <laughs> Complicated question. Mm -hmm. What would Harry say? Probably that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Harry's this had a exactly... long day. No. This is exactly why I gave Harry a space. No, this is something i need to do all right so charlotte where do you uh how, what do you do what do you do with that do you do you like step off to the side go way back uh what, what do you there is um where's adam adam's back on the side. he's visible like he's probably if you if you freeze frame this video later which people will he'll certainly be in frame but he's like sort of back on the steps he's back you know just sort of Smiling, looking superb, looking proud of his teammate, you know, but at a distance, at a at a marked distance. It isn't like, you know, Superman at the podium and the rest of the Justice League lined up six feet back. He's he's a good thirty meters, you know, thirty yards back up on the steps, kind of a thing. Adam is out. Yeah, Adam is Adam is out. Nobody calls him Concord in this yeah. situation. It's just Adam. No, it's just Adam is out. Like Madan yeah. like Madonna and Prince and National coming out day is coming up. Like, like Madonna and Prince and Anthrax. So, <laughs> if you want to come hang out, remind me to tell you of, of of your mother's thoughts on the 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 gender gender reveal uh, party and what I first thought of that as being. <laughs> 
actually was. So there we go. That's pretty funny. Um, all right. So do, were you asking where Adam was because you were backing up to there or? or, or I'll, I'm, I'm, what I'm planning on doing is standing near one of the team members who's out. So that would be so Adam. That would pretty much be Adam. Other yep. than Harry, it's you, pretty you much You can come it. hang out with us. Yep. You and, yeah, he's next to Carrie and uh, Super Chica and... Mm, who wants to be near? A10. A10. Yeah, A10, because he was... Yeah. Yeah. And that probably means Telekinesians is somewhere nearby, too. All right. Yay, so, everyone can watch me self-destruct. Okay, so Harry, oh, that, that so there's the show. there's the flurry of the new of the newspaper the you know, the reporters and and everybody's like you know, uh, any word on whether it, will, will the menagerie be helping with damage control or repairs? Uh, any word on whether or not that creature you were fighting will be back? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, any response to allegations that blah, 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 blah. it's all kind of being lost? And you're not and honestly, you're not listening. So. Uh, do you, do you tell them, do you, do you just go, all right, guys, shut up or you just wait till they stop talking or what's this look like? I look to the one who's not being the most obnoxious. Okay. All right. Um, I'm not going to, it's too late in the night for yeah, me to make you, up somebody, but yeah. there you go. You don't have to kiss to make up a person. All right. But, and start addressing him. Okay. Or her. her. We'll go with the her. her. We'll go with the her. Uh, After Trump's recent, yeah. Sure. We'll go. Uh, <laughs> you, you're not thinking. You never think. All right. Anyway. Um. Yeah, sort of a cross between uh, uh, Rachel Maddow and Adele Karasawa. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, nerdy, but, it, you know, anyway, carry on. You got somebody. Yeah. Um, and I just go into it. Uh, so, so it dies down a little bit and you're looking at, at, at this at, at her and, and she uh, just kind of half raised her hand. You're already looking at her. Harry, what have you got to say? I know that there has been a lot of talk this past day about my actions in the cemetery. I know a lot of people feel that the menagerie and mainly me are out of control and kind of losing it. Um, and I just wanted to address those the public's concerns. And you see the woman's eyes kind of slide side side to side, like, is, is that it? Or, and there's even kind of like a half emotion of like, okay, you should do that. Like kind of like that, go on. Has there ever been a time where Gollum has not caused public damage? Where, uh, oh yeah, hasn't seemed to have kind of gone off her rocker. So your public no no that's okay. if one of them public starts to say something happens yeah it, some of them, one of them and starts to say something and you keep going I like that go public damage happens and I will be working with crews to ensure the proper cleanup of the cemetery as we do after fights have occurred 
I feel like the public is focusing a lot on one aspect where the damage could have been much greater had we not had the menagerie not worked to stop the creature. So to suddenly be looking at us like we have grown extra limbs and rampaged throughout the cemetery with no purpose would be a disservice to the members of the menagerie when the damage could have been much worse. Are you saying, and this is the same one, are you saying that it's unavoidable? The, or, or that we should just, ex, you know, I, it sounds like you're, you're putting yourselves on the same operational plateau as the hell, the, the HHL. I messed up yesterday. I will be the first one to admit it. However, for that to overshadow the hard work of my teammates would be incorrect would be doing a disservice to them all right and now so there is a flurry of additional questions how you answer those kind of it doesn't really matter whether you do or not and honestly i'm kind of assuming that you don't um very much because you've said your bit and you're, you know, I don't know, do you, do you stick with it and try to keep dealing with that? Or do you just kind of go, no, no, I'm out? I'm going to shoot you... them off. <laughs> Which is probably, it's like, no, sorry, guys. Yeah, we're done. All right. So because it is late, I'm going to go straight to the other thing that we need to do with this. So you're pretty much says like, listen, this is this is reality. This is what it is. We get in fights with big nasty stuff. Sometimes stuff gets broken. I'll stand by it. I'll fix it. But you guys need to take a reality check. That's cool. I like that. Um, are you you taking the? We already said kind of taking the advance to remove that influence because you're not going to worry about what these people are saying about this stuff if they're going to be short sighted about it. That's cool. Um, let's look. I think is is the time passes move on your character sheet or no? Uh, I don't think so. I. Um, Think, I think I might have a copy of it. Let me look at it real. Let me. I think I might have something I can just drag over into the Roll Savior to see how the members of your legacy feel or react to your most recent exploits before asking before rolling. Ask the other players to answer these questions about your performance. Right. I think it. Wait. I think I have it here, so everyone can look. Is this right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Here we go. Um. So. So you're rolling Savior. Ask the other players to answer these questions about your performance. Uh, has Harry been upholding the traditions of the legacy? Who do we lose? Dave? Sorry, I was just uh, reloading my screen. Oh, that's good. All right. Has Harry been upholding the traditions of the legacy? Team. Or really, is, oh, there, is there a dissenting opinion there? say yes i mean even the reporter said are you comparing yourself to the yep hhl Agreed. yeah he certainly yeah i, I kind of like that because it's like listen man you know like just just because we're kids doesn't mean that 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 things aren't going to get broken when the, we're doing our job the, the big names break stuff yeah have you maintained the image has he has harry maintained the image of the legacy well i don't know uh Silver Streak certainly screwed up, so 
<laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if the legacy involves screwing up, but uh... if 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 raising the image of the uh, 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 of the legacy counts, then yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, would you say, in 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 your opinions, do you think Harry has made the members of the legacy proud? How many of his family does he have influence over? Yes. <laughs> He's yeah. so the the people. I guess the people that this was. I think if Grandma was here, she'd be applauding him right now. So this is. This, I, I we, should think so. I should hope so. It's Grandma and you know Mom and Dad and pretty much Uncle Chase, and that's kind of where the legacy begins and ends at this point. So, um, so we're saying yes. All right. Now all that does is just like avoid penalties. So. Uh, somebody's breathing. I don't. I'm not at the right mic, so I can't see who. But somebody's somebody's mic out. Um, all right. So we have. So there's a minus one on the roll for each no answer, but we don't have any no's. So Harry, if you would just give me a roll on savior. See where we land. See how the family reacts to this thing. A full hit fine ending to all that um all right so on a hit one of them offers you meaningful encouragement an opportunity or an advantage on a seven to nine another is upset well we don't have to worry about that so we don't have other people upset with your most recent action they don't make it so we know and we don't have to worry about the about the miss so uh something happening with the legacy which i am definitely not going to think through right now but as a general rule, what you just did made the family happy. Uh, or at least didn't make anybody mad. I think mad. every superhero has wanted at some point or another to just... Listen, man. Honestly, it kind of reminds me a little bit of one of Mr. Mr. Incredible's, like, you know... I just cleaned up! What did he give you? I saved that guy! You gave him whiplash! I He was jumping off a building! I, I saved his life! You ruined my life! Yeah, exactly. So he's thinking more of the the one you like, you know, I just cleaned up. Can't you? Yeah, every you know, time. Time. Uh, hey, Doyce. Yeah. Are you are you looking to think of an advantage later or just or are you just leaving it blank for right now? Well, I can I can I'm I'm open to whatever. Do you have a suggestion? Uh, if James is OK, then, yeah, I have one. Uh, well, I mean, make the suggestion. We'll see what he thinks. <laughs> That's fair. No, I have to choose before I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you blind. could read my mind. You you have tele you have telepathy in addition to all your other powers, but anyway, um, so Silver Streak and Tempest and and Chase were part of this um, I want to say global alliance before the HHL. Yeah, is that correct? Yeah. I, um, I kind of remember that. It, it stands to reason that that these people knew some kind of like super construction or super repair like damage control style outfit Ooh. that normally bills the HHL for their cleanup and makes really good money doing so. But maybe they'll comp parry this one. Oh, I like it. What do you think? Is that cool? Like like having the family sort of make a connect uh uh hook up some kind of connection to kinda of yeah, help with the cleanup? I, I like I like the idea of, you know, the, the that the crew just shows up and starts cleaning up and when Harry asks them something, they just say, Oh yeah, it's No, this one this taking one's care on, of. this one's on us. That's kinda of fun. Sure. I like it. Is that cool? We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll see. I, I'm curious. I'm more curious. And I think this will be interesting later to go who specifically did that. Well, I think that's how you expand a legacy. So that's that's what that's for. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good stuff. We'll, we'll figure out who all's doing that, doing that next time. All right. Anybody else? So we'll we'll end with Harry kind of and the flurry of the reporters and everyone uh, doing all that kind of stuff, and we will wrap up with you guys actually still kind of standing there at the at the uh, at the high school waiting for sort of the craziness to die down before Harry finally goes, no, no, guys, I'm done, and he kind of goes whoosh, off. Um, I mean, it may be a little bit silly to ask some of these questions of uh, Harry just got here and and Adam was in a car most of the most of the evening but i will at least begin with the girls uh alicia closer to the team more into your image yourself further away from the team what do you think uh, I, i'm gonna say closer to the team and i'm gonna point to charlotte who actually wanted to hang 
<laughs> with me. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, working my way through the list that's up here on the screen. Uh, uh, Summer. I'm going to say closer to the team and Alicia on the strength of the cutscene to end all cutscenes. <laughs> I think I think that is the Mir longest. Miracles want to be free. Well, I say that because I think in 52 posts, I think that's the longest Alicia has ever gone before running away from one of the. Demons. <laughs> that's really good. What was the actual name of that? One? Was it digging in? Delving. Delving. Delving in. Delving in. I was digging on the mine because of the flower thing. That first lead-in thing where you were like, you know, other people have failed in this endeavor. It's like, all right, bring the marigolds in, and we're going to need that fertilizer. I, 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 I enjoyed that. It was really, it was, it was, I was like, what the hell is going on here? Oh, and, and Dave, there is a link to Marion's page. I really want to know that you approve of that picture. Oh, I, 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 I saw that you said that I have not looked at it yet, but uh, thank you. I will go and look. Uh, all right. Um... Uh, uh, Charlotte, closer to the team, further away from the team, more damage to yourself. What do you think? Um, I would say closer to the team, and I will say, um, all right, actually, you know what? I'm going to say Summer for hanging with me, spending right. the night in the grove. All right, all right. Good stuff, good stuff. I uh, mean, she was, uh, she was kind of wondering whether what Charlotte thought about her... So that's that's reassuring. I like that. I like that. Um, there's so many weird ways that you could answer this. Uh, uh, Adam, close to the team, further away from the team, more into image of yourself. Uh, I'm going to say close to the team, and we're going to say Harry. Oh, because... because he went up there and yeah, yeah. did the thing? So there's, there's a weird, creepy response to this question that goes something yeah. like that goes something like further away from the team, Charlotte, because she <laughs> bent to my will. I don't need to listen to her anymore because she bent to that, my that, will. That got dark really quick. Yeah. Um, dude, you did this to yourself. That's all I have to say. So, yeah, I did. Of course, I did. You're welcome. Um, all right. So influence to uh, influence to Harry. And again, you guys know that. Know the drill. Most of you probably already have influence back and forth. So let let the let the label shifting fly. And uh, Harry, more into your image yourself, closer to the team, further away from the team. Um, I think image yourself. I think that I think that makes the most. Great. Sense. I think that really makes. The yeah, most I sense. figured your I figured mundane would be locked. Yes. So. Uh, advantage of summer is she doesn't have anything locked yet <laughs> she is a she is a moldable creature <laughs> yeah i don't know i keep thinking about I, uh mike were you on the thing where i was talking about like if there would ever be any kind of like even if from a like a game tactical point of view of like lock oh. when you get a chance to lock a stat like locking yeah one yeah negative i, I two. heard that and i wanted to comment on it but i was driving so i didn't have the opportunity but there are plenty of reasons why you would want to do that yeah. Um, you guys pop, popped in with the uh, uh, the obvious one, which is having you more, have more points, points to play to with else. Anywhere else. However, and this is all this is the thing I always pipe in for powered by the apocalypse games. Having a dump stat is actually to your benefit because those are the places you want to have the most interesting uh, events occur. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean we have said many many times it's the sixes. That make the things happen in this yep. game. So those are the places that you want all of your interesting things to occur. So if you put your freak at minus two, every time you use your powers, you're just expecting, well, this is going to end horribly. Let's yeah. see how that occurs. That's really kind of, I mean, you kind of want, I mean, I guess if you're always just expect. I mean, no matter what, it's just going to be bad. Yeah. I think you can make an yeah. argument for you could you can make an argument for that's how Wolverine's powers work, because um, just no matter what happens, it's always bad. And and, and there's always double box cars, so it. Yeah, you still get. Yeah. You might get a ten. I was re I was actually I was listening to, I linked it in the in 
uh, inspiration stuff or the general inspiration thing. I was listening to the podcast of the game, which is up to like session 28, which is the um, sitting around the coffee shop getting interviewed by the ponies, which is, oh my God, you guys are such a hot mess right after that one. It was just so many bad, fraught story, like questions that were really, really great. Um, but yeah, there was, there was a bit in there that was really kind of like, uh, just, just the way the, the six is kind of in, in the social interactions and stuff kind of, um, uh, kind of pan out in there. It's, it's, it's just really interesting how that happens with you guys. But anyway, as Bill said in that episode, the questions wouldn't have been as fraught without all the history that everybody had. So it's just good stuff there. Anyway, I was going somewhere else with that, but I lost it somewhere between the beginning and the end of the sentence, so I'm just going to let it go because it's been that kind of a day. All right, so next time we will begin with Charlotte heading to Has Beans with certain numbers of the team in tow possibly all wait, of them there's a potential wait, wait, wait. are we all going to be yeah. in the same place at the same time you guys are all going to be in the same place at the same time with charlotte announce or at least you know charlotte at least i don't know about announcing but casually mentioning going to some place that a lot of you find interesting so you might That's really funny because charlotte was Thanks. like complaining Thanks. that 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 the team wasn't spending time together as a team and <laughs> we should well, go see Lucius. Yeah. And, and, and so instead of being at the Grove or Jason's or something like that, they're all wandering over to has beans with her. <laughs> well, so on that note, uh, during the cutscene, we had talked about having a team meeting, and uh, we could either roll that together with the same thing or do that separately. But uh, it sounded like both Alicia and Summer were on board with just getting everybody together to just kind of talk about stuff. Yeah. I don't know if how much we want to get into that or if we just want to sum things up, but we might. Uh, we might, we could either do it like right after talking to Lucius or like even, uh, I can very easily make uh, Lucius like he's out right now, but he's going to be back in like a half an hour. You guys just want to wait here. That's actually good. Is that good? Because then you yeah, guys can just I, kinda... I like it at the very least. Because if, if we get going with Lucius, who knows who what knows what's going to happen. sideways we could be coming. So we, you know, you meet up there. It's like, uh, he says he's going to be back in like a half an hour. You guys can just wait here. And then you like, again, we have the Avengers around the table at the shawarma place. But, you know, you guys kind of, are, you, you're right there. You're all together. So not only if are I, you. If I remember correctly, has beans has like a little teeny kind of like back. garden outside patio space too. Yeah. Kind of in the back. Yeah. Private. And JC can send you right back there. Um, and also, everybody at Hasbeans, like the, the regulars, try to play real cool around supers because, you know, uh, Lucius used to be like sort of in that thing, and they want to make sure that they that he knows that they don't think that he's that big of a deal. <laughs> so they never they never make a big deal of, about anybody uh, famous coming in, uh, because if they make a big deal about anybody famous coming in. Then they then Lucius might get some you know highfalutin thoughts into his head. Unless the point of it is to make him feel like he's not nearly as cool as this other important person who just showed up. Yeah, I know you were you did the thing, fought evil, whatever. But this person here, this one's a hero and famous. <laughs> so yeah, they're giving a good time. So yeah, that I like that idea. That's that's good. We'll get we'll we'll start. We'll get you guys over there, and then you can do like sort of the impromptu. Chautauqua around the table in the back, and uh, and then we'll we'll do the thing with Lucius. Cool, good. Not only ending the session with everybody in the same place, but continuing that at the beginning of the next session. This is exciting. I don't know when the last time is this has happened. People are typing stuff but not saying anything. So well, um, technically it happened. Last session. You're on mute.